let's begin. Hello, everyone. Today is our Saturday Australia New Zealand webinar. It is September 10th, 2022 in the, the Northern Hemisphere and September 11th, 2022 in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, my name is Deb Purcell and this is my husband, Rick Purcell. Hello. And I'm just giving you a heads up that I am really, really, have a really difficult time speaking about um, ourselves and myself and my husband personally. I stumble on my words and I go blank. Um, I'm just not comfortable singing our praises and I'm not quite sure why, but I'm going to try. About six years ago, seven years ago, uh, some very miraculous and highly spiritual events happened in our lives. While I was busy saying decrees at night, keeping uh, or raising our vibration and asking my guys for to find my joy, I had no idea that I was also raising my husband's um, vibration while he was sleeping in the next room. My wish of finding our, my joy encompassed him without my knowing. He started to see orbs shortly after that and angels and beings uh, ascended masters and uh, energies and eventually he merged with creator uh, white light um, perfect white light one afternoon uh, and it was after that excuse me no idea why my nose it was after that that everything changed. Rick became a healer, and I started to receive downloaded information. Um, and our gifts have our gifts has all, have only re increased since then. And uh, Rick has all of the layers, as as do I. Uh, we share the same higher self during this journey as well. It's our honor to be here today to assist you and your loved ones, along with our esteemed associate Philip. Can I just say one thing? Um, the way our healing works, I see a picture or in person to get their energy, to read their energy. And then Deb starts getting downloads of health issues and um, any past lives that affect this lifetime. That's how ours work. And then where's Bill? My, my turn. Get away, yes. Bill. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Good. Uh, yeah, I've been, uh, basically, I started healing when I was five years old. I was healing my goldfish that died two days. I brought it back to life. My hands glowed. Uh, that's the only time they've ever glowed. And I thought it was not normal. I actually did think it was normal because I was five years old. Uh, I connected to uh, Earth's energy when I was about seven or eight. I started doing, uh, from the age of 10, I've been doing warrior work at night. So I've been trying to lift the Earth's vibration, trying to remove dark energy. Uh, I got accredited healing uh, 20 years years ago and credited spirit uh, crystal healer 20 years ago and I do voluntary healing uh, once or twice a week at a community centre and I've also done some teaching this year for children with crystal therapy and healing as well which is really good because some of them are five or six year olds and it's remarkable what we actually know uh, what I normally do when I'm doing healing I normally connect to some of my aspects uh, I sort of partially merge sometimes and that gives me knowledge and it gives me a bit more higher vibration and it helps me set amazing to whoever needs it. Uh, I've only been doing that the last four or five years, uh, connected to aspects of mine, and I'm linked to Andromeda Energy. So yeah. I think that's about it. I get more than I normally do that. Yeah, one last thing is that um, we can identify implants and attachments and remove them. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So uh, if you've just joined, um, any healing that you are requesting, please put it in the chat pane uh, to the right and we'll make sure that everybody receives healing today that is here. Now, mm -hmm. since we have a, the beautiful Wilma Hart with us today, I'm going to ask her again to raise our vibration with her beautiful light language, which everyone will feel. Thank you. Right I'm, honored. I'm honored to be asked. Thank you very much. I am honored to have you here today. Here we go. Oh, sure. Thank you. Oh my goodness. If you didn't feel that in your heart, thank you. That was so beautiful. Okay, I have to scroll. You have some beautiful. Shaking. Joby Wan Kenobi. Joby Wan Kenobi. 
You are first. Hello. Hi. Um, so, Joey Wan Kenobi. Uh, Joey, usually my name is on here. Joey. Joey but yes, J O I. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a kitty. Okay. He's How are you, Joey? Before. We haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, good and not good. Oh, what happened? Oh, the kitty turned the video off. I'm staying at a friend's house right now, and uh, kitty is taking a liking to me. Um, so, good and not good. I'm starting to think that um, I may have that entity reattached to me again, possibly, or maybe you a new have, one. Yeah, I can feel it already. Ooh. That's you're not the first person, actually. Uh, do you feel sick? I, I feel. That's, that's, I, what, I, that's why I move forward. <laughs> I, I wanted. Yeah, I wanted to let you guys know before, because um, I actually I was just. Uh, excuse me, my nose is bothering me today. Um, uh, I was just talking to a friend um, who lives in the states, and she's actually a boot or a voodoo priestess, and she's all all day long. She's like, yeah, there's there's something there's something going on with you. There's you have another attachment, um, and she she tried to like perform some healing on me, and she. she she had to stop because she was feeling ill like she wanted to vomit um and uh i've been noticing i don't feel like i did uh remember when i first met you guys um that was after my injury i mean and, and i was dying i don't feel that bad but what i'm being told is that this spirit or entity or what have you um is it's it's preventing people from helping me it is also preventing me from feeling other people um so i've got two energy healers who are who are, who are very close friends and every time they try to perform on me they're like do you feel anything i just i can't feel anything at all i've been told by another person who lives in the area i've got a block by root chakra um and i mean i i do feel fine but you i feel, know you that feel there's... strained a lot uh yes yeah I, I was actually just about to say yeah like i feel fine but yes i'm constantly feeling i just i have no energy i'm you know i'm struggling to once i'm at work i'm okay but i'm struggling to get myself to work i'm struggling to be so properly i'm struggling to um you know just basically talk, take proper care of myself i just i just oh, well, it's dreaming. like such a chore yeah but and you reach up, I think there's an implant there, it's draining, just draining the energy. Okay. okay. What, what do you think, Deb? Actually, I'm going to pull on the Bluetooth speaker so I can hear you a bit better. Hopefully, this doesn't and, echo too much. And it's also making you feel nauseous. It, it can do that with what program. Yeah, there are some days where um, I'm just going to kind of try to hook up to this Bluetooth speaker just so I can hear you a bit better. Yeah, there are some days where, um, um, yeah, I, I, I do. I feel sick. Mm. Um, I feel sick. I just I don't even want to get up in the morning. I don't want to do anything. Um, it's a far cry from what I was after that that first time. Like I think it was 24 hours after um, we did that first healing mm -hmm. session. And uh, what do you, what do you that think? Is it was like somebody flicked on a light switch and I felt alive again. Well, okay, so felt, when, when did you get this attachment, you know? You should have felt uh, it right away. <laughs> no clue, but um, my my friend who I was just talking to, she was talking about, uh, she says, well, my the, um, my my ribs on my right side, like my, or not just ribs, but like right to chest and kind of stomach area are, are vibrating. And I said, well, you know, like I, I had the injury, you know, mirror image of thinking, okay, well, it's, you're my mirror image. You're, you're my, my left would be your right. She says, no, scars. There's, there's scars there's something there's scars and i sent her a picture of my stomach and i've got four scars actually kind of admit it please don't judge me for this but um we're self-elected because i was just things were bad at that point in time i didn't know what else to do i didn't know how to deal with the pain i didn't know how to no i just i figured you know what it's going to hurt me let's hurt myself instead and um and so i sent her the pictures and she's like well there you go there's like there's the scars so i'm wondering my bluetooth's going on i'm wondering if that would be a thing or not <laughs> my video might pop on and off here a little bit just trying is this is holy kitty don't do that nerds you go on kitty get out of here nervous i'll come back on video in a second and yeah actually when uh when i did get those scars um that was a very very intense very intense and very dark time in my life so it just kind of makes me wonder were you a satan worshiper at one time no no and you know what though um actually um this the same friend just told me that there is some like she kept asking like like uh do you share needles with people are, are there uh blood packs there's there's something blood something blood like some sort of blood connection i've never uh, i've never worshiped satan e even before i admitted that i leave god i never ever ever did anything like that not not the, to my knowledge not you're not I'm, calling I'm, these you're not calling these beings to you i not intentionally no i think the beings are all to do with uh, the pack and the blood and everything i'm sorry can, so, can you uh, re repeat that yeah i think whatever, whatever's connected to you uh is all to do with that if you get what i mean i'll do with titanic and stuff like that now just for everyone I, i've got my crystal ball so i'm draining any negative energy so don't worry about it. you won't get any negative energy and what i'll do is i'll i'll go into the implants and i'll 
also out either side. Uh, so I mean, that will. Yeah. It might be uh, might be wise for you to know that I have had black magic performed on me. Um, I was actually told that I I, I had that done to me. Um, yeah, without knowing. Without knowing. This, this is this is this is the issue. This. <laughs> This is the issue, Joey, because these this thing happening to you is almost like you asked for this. That's why it's happening to you. That's why I'm asking you these questions, because these these the information I'm getting is like you asked for this experience. You asked for all this. But it, um, this is something when these this keeps happening to you it's because you asked for it in some kind of some kind of ceremony. And I'm I, this is information. That's why I'm saying, were you a Satan worshiper? I, I'm this is the information I'm getting is why this keeps happening to you. Well, okay, there, you, you um, had a, a blood ceremony. I I've never actually involved my like I've never done that, not willingly or knowing. Okay. Okay. Um, there was a time in my life where I, I mean, I hated myself so much that I just, I, I wished death upon myself. Okay. Um, so that's the only thing. Were you in drug, uh, involved with drug? I was at one point in time, yes. Okay. That's where a lot of my scars come. Okay. Yeah. You, you can't wish the de a demon in when, when you're, you're lower. Because that's, what, that's well, what I'm being shown, that yeah. this is, this is, were they really hard drugs? Yo, yo, the worst, the worst. Ugh. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, it was the, the worst one. Um, yeah. It turned me into, it, it turned me into a monster is what it did. Well, this, um, is, the, this is the issue. It's yeah. almost like I, you have a contract with them. Okay. I, I have stopped it. Like, and, and actually just not long ago, I was, um, I did have a relapse. Um, I, I did do some cocaine um, about a month or two, a month ago or something like that. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of fell a little bit there. But it, since well, then, I've just actually- Just one thing, you know, when you, yeah, when you get the urge to do that, it's not you that's doing the urge, it's them that's making it's it. It's them. I know yeah. it's not me. It's 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 hard. It's really, really, really hard because like they, there's- They, this, they, they want a lower your vibration. Well, they want your yeah. energy, but they want a better energy, which is a lower vibrational energy. Right, and that makes yeah. sense because yeah, sometimes- it's 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 almost like it's uncontrollable at some points in time like now just recently i did i i mean i made a a, a promise to myself i swore to myself because i was really starting to struggle again and i said no i'm i'm not i'm not going back there i'm not going to do it i don't care i'm going to deal with this i'm not going back to that to that world um mm. you know so that, i mean that that's a thing but um but, but as well, what, what i'll do is I'll, I'll scan you i'll go into I'll, I'll see what i'll see what i can do i don't know okay. exactly i don't know what contract you've done okay <sighs> All right, just close your eyes and relax. Okay, I'm going to put my phone down. Can you just do a visual of you so I can, I can get into yep, it? Can, there we go. You might feel this, by the way, Joey. I'm sorry? You might feel the energy. I am, actually. It's the first thing I've felt in a long time, actually. Or it's the first time I've felt a, another person in a long time. How do you feel now? Um, I... Uh... I actually feel um what's the word I don't know lighter yeah I think would be the best yeah. best way to describe it yeah, I was trying feel, to work um, out I was trying to work out breaking the rules by doing it I wasn't sure <laughs> so it's actually kind of funny that you guys had had brought up you know like or, or asked me about um prior uh, drug use because the other per my friend that I was speaking with was talking about sharing needle which I've never done but um maybe I did actually make a pack that yeah. I just was not aware of back then yeah what well, did you pick up that the only thing what's I that? can say to you Joey is Joey, yep. we can continue to heal you and we can continue to move remove these implants. The rest is up to you, is to just say no. And lift your vibration. If yes. They can't touch you if your vibration is high. And who remember who you're hanging around with because they carry a vibration too. Yeah. Um, I mean, I do I do have um, a new group of friends who are uh, mostly work related. And I mean, I they're not bad people by any stretch of the imagination. Like it's not my friends who are, you know, trying to convince me to start using it. They're actually really pretty good friends um but they are not like us like they're st they're still asleep so um but uh yeah. Joey, the only one that can make you happy is you nobody else why is my volume so low no one can make any of us yes. happy but us um i definitely do uh agree with that um i i don't rely on on anyone else anymore to make me happy like i i, I have learned that a long time ago it's my it's my choice it's my job yeah. um and that is something that i'm i like i am on uh, definitely obviously i have not perfected it by any stretch of the imagination but uh you know so i mean it is definitely something that's you know um i am putting effort into it yeah
And Joey, yeah. none of us have perfected it. We're all human. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you haven't got any implants now, and uh, there was a bit of a battle done on that. So uh, you should be okay. Do you want a pick? Do you want a card? An oral card? Yeah, do it. Right. Um, just say stop. Um, I'm sorry. Can can you uh, repeat that? Just say no, stop. stop for an oracle card. An oracle card, honey. To see if oh, okay. What the done. Say stop, Joey. Oh, sorry. Oh, stop. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm just, I'm I was going to shuffle on that. Time. <laughs> there you go. I've given yeah, you my, two anyway. My, my volume is kind of. You've got okay. you got study basically. Look, look for new skills. Ideas grow your journey, which is in the uh, spiritual journey. Yeah. The other one's children. Uh, honor your inner child. So that doing some play, child. So study a spirituality. Yeah. If you want to conquer okay. it, get into it a bit more. Yeah, you know what? I've actually been um, straying away from it quite a bit lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, noticeably. Well, that's, why, that's why it came out. Okay. Right. Okay. Next, we have. Thank you, Joey. Anyway. Victoria. Yep, thank you, Joey. Okay, next is Victoria. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello. Baby is asleep, so I will use a picture. He hasn't okay. smiled like this in a long time, and he I caught him smiling like this a few days ago. Must but be you know, good healing. <sighs> You know, he was attacked by a very big dog. Yeah. And, you know, it was a, it was a blessing he survived that. And, yeah. So, do you want to heal him first? Okay. I'll do both at the same time. I've been doing regular healing on him, but I don't know how to remove those things if there's any on him. He's actually doesn't have any in his clean. Yeah, you both been clean up. We've been, I've been trying to do the daily clearing, healing. Some Did good, a good work. job. Been yeah. doing it every, really, really good job. Been doing it every day, um, you know, trying to get back into the mode of things, you know. You've done a good job, definitely. Great I, job. I'm not picking up any. Me either. You should have seen what happened yesterday. It was crazy. There was an interception by by those, by that group. Threw things really off and, and then it went into like a string of bad things that seem to go on you know it keeps going the bad luck thing and I got mugged at, at the same time someone pickpocketed me yesterday so I lost money it's just a series of things that happened so I'm, I'm, I'm happy that he's good um what about yeah. you know, the the injuries he's all better and stuff because you know did he, a he's lot getting of better he's getting better yeah you're doing yeah. a good job. That, that, you know how big that dog was? That dog was like... Uh, yeah, but it's gone. Let it go. <laughs> yeah, let it go. <laughs> I mean, yeah. like, he just, you know, his, you know, it's like one of those uh, mountain dogs, you know, those big ones. And, you know, he snapped at him. And I'm thinking it must be his shield. He has a... Think, a, think of the positive side. He's okay. Yeah. yeah. It must, I was, like, you know, I was thinking at that time, it must have been the shield that protected him. Yeah. He has um, angelic probably, protection. It's probably you. Probably you, yeah. Oh, so. you probably protect him and you didn't realize you've got the power to do that i was watching them so you know i just didn't i, I will have to stop eating dogs i love feeding them when i'm out giving dogs treat and um, yeah not, not all dogs are the same <laughs> yeah this dog was really friendly and they like each other and you know he keeps he keeps wanting to he stands on his hind paw reaches out to him like this and keeps kissing him does all bobby does is kiss his dog and during the you know they were friendly and so i decided to give him some treats and bobby was is not bobby is not interested in the treats he likes to share he's really friendly but that dog snapped at him and he lost you, one you know you're, you're you're dwelling on the negative side yeah. of it yeah. you know you are let yeah. that go he survived. You're yeah, I know he him. survived. You haven't got any attachments. That's the positive. Actually, actually, actually wait. Yeah. That you know, you you know his jaw, right? Because he lost a tooth, a fang, and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. What, did, did you see any like um crack bones or anything like that on his I mouth? Didn't, I didn't. I didn't see any anything that needs. You're doing the healing very well. Positive. I didn't see anything either. No. So, he did a really, really good job. So I, I I kept him healed, and he actually repaired bones or something. I don't think it bone broke. I didn't either. So I have to. Yeah, I didn't see. I didn't see any infection, which was really important. And you did a really, really good job. Mm. I don't know what I'm doing, but I just keep sending it to him. I just keep healing him. I put the shield on him, and I I had to use the life mm -hmm. essence era stuff. You know, you did a really good job. So I, I I'm like really really don't know how to heal. You know that? Yes, you do. <laughs> I only know the way I yes, know how to you do. do. It. I only know the way I know how to do it, but it's not conventional, and it's not like you guys. And I don't know if it even works. We have to learn too. We were taught yeah, by Creator how to how to do healing. We didn't know what we were doing. Mm -hmm. I, my, Someone my... says to us, a Chandler tells us that Archangel Michael through him said, you're healers. Okay, thanks. What do we do? We know how to do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm just saying, Victoria, half the stuff I do is not conventional. It's not what you learn. It's what you've been given. Right. So mm -hmm. Whatever what you're in tech, what you're being given, that's what you've been given. That's your skill. Real. That's how you do the healing. Right. It doesn't matter about what other people do. Right. I mean, Phil does, doesn't do the same thing we do. He's totally different. He, he learned from four years old. 
Yeah, I think I brought it in. You know, uh, when I was in my highest vibration, then mm -hmm. I was able to see people's body um, and stuff like that. But I, I wasn't resonating with the idea of being like a healer, as you know, like a personal one-on-one -on -one as, so, as soon as you then. think that, you close it. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I was more leaning towards um, grid work, uh, light working, you know, bringing energies in, like that kind of stuff. But now I see that there's there's just looking at Bobby and seeing how, how well he's doing now. It's it really surprises me because I don't even know these guys keeps coming in and out and doing things I don't even know if my shield or my dome because I put a dome around my home and even into other dimensions and everything Victoria like never never think it surprises you because that's the, a little block because you're not expecting uh, it expect it expect reeling to work I like I said I just didn't know if any of these things are working because do, do you want to say stop <laughs> And I'll give you two cards while you talk. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is this for Bobby? I'm giving you two. It's for both I'll of let, you. I'll okay. let you pick it. Yeah. Hey, stop. Yeah. yeah. Ideas, inspirations, and power. I did expect the power one from what power. Good. You have the power of the creator, divine love, wisdom, intelligence is available. So, yeah. And what was the other one? I need a brain. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Ideas and inspirations. So, God speaks to you, you just need to listen. Okay. Listen more. See the sign. I, did you guys see uh, recently there were these uh, spider-looking things? They're black. Like, they look like jacks for legs, and they're very skinny. A whole right, bunch of them. Yeah, they showed I up. Think, I think you're getting rid of them. I didn't see them. So what you look at it, I think your power's coming back. I remember that. I've been clearing and great doing so much work <laughs> and trying to raise my vibration. And, 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 you know, I keep getting, you know, the other group interfering because Dex, Dex is also raising. I'm very proud of him. He actually protects me last yesterday he protected me Good. he turned around and because the other you know there's a there's a competition going on between him and some other person and and it doesn't seem like that guy wants to let go and i'm really surprised after all he went through and he raised his vibration up it really touched me he he's protecting me now mm -hmm. Good. Honey, we got to move on. we got a All lot right. of people waiting. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Love you. Thank yeah, you yeah, 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 energy looks a lot better today than last time. Thank you so much. You're welcome, You're welcome honey. Welcome. I love you guys. I love you. Um, For me to be Bonnie, right? Yeah. I'm always afraid I'm going to get it wrong. <laughs> I don't have the greatest memory. Well, names and I don't, I don't remember either sometimes. <laughs> okay. So, so you need a scan. Please. I tried to behave myself. Yeah. Uh, well, after several weeks of meeting you, you don't do a very good job of that. <laughs> Did you fracture something? Yeah, that's what happened um, two weeks ago, the rib. Did you do it again? Not that I'm aware of. I did start a new job yesterday, though. What's the new job? Is it physical? No, not really. It's okay. uh, administrative, but it is working in a filming center. A what? A filming, filming center. Like warehouse. Amazon? Like Amazon? I, um, yeah, well, it's just, it's a small warehouse. It's not really, and nothing is of any real weight. But Okay. How is your rib? Um, it's actually really, really good. Um, good. Sometimes it'll get tender, and then I'll stop. And I've what's been really with, What's going on with your elbow? Nothing that I know of. And you even did it the left one, which is the one I was wondering about. Um, I haven't done anything. Does it hurt? So, uh, I would say more sore because I've been really trying to stretch. I feel like I'm um, growing out of my skin. That's probably the only way I could say. I, I've had to be real um, workout energy without hurting myself. It's been more like dance and um, nothing, nothing strenuous. I have something in her elbow, Phil. That's what I'm doing. No, no. What's, do you feel anything when you go into work? Anything negative? Um, no, I was a little nervous a little bit because you know, um, like any energies, like any funky do you know, energy. Do you know what I think it is? I forget, but I think it is. When you damage your rib, you damage your aura field in some little, some, some negative energy is dying. Yeah. And it, a lying dormant. Do you get that? Deb? Yes. Yeah. Because there's something in her elbow. It almost, I almost thought it was fractured, but no, there's something in her elbow. The only thing I did was I had to remove their, they've got those plug-in air fresheners and I have, I'm, I have a very acute smell. No, you, you got it. You got an implant or some kind of attachment. No, 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 no. I think it's a parasite. Huh? Parasite. Come through, <laughs> come through the aura field when it rib broke. Yeah. There's something. That's why I said it's there was a, something in her. And if anyone does, has never heard that like spiritual one. So. It's a spiritual. Okay. I knew it was something I've never seen before. Before. It's really funky. It's all right. You're going to feel a real hotness in your elbow. Real hot. I've been real hot for the last three days. Well, it's only going to be central. Uh, it's going no, to be central. That, that's good. That's how you burn uh, them out. Yes. Your, your own body burns them out. That's why you, people get a fever. They're not just getting rid of the illness. 
gut. You're also getting rid of the spiritual problem you got. This is um that just gonna be centrally located at the elbow though. Is it it'd be it'd be real life. It'd be uh living there laying dormant, ready for any negative energy you feed on. Sorry, I'd stay there. Can you feel that? Yeah, I'm my even my palms and my feet are on like on fire. <laughs> That's the easiest way to burn it. Trying to put my feet down. Luckily, it's new. It wasn't new and it had been there a while. This probably made you ill. <laughs> so, but luckily, it's a new thing. Right. I think it, yeah, I'm going. Um, do you want to scan kind of again? Yeah. yeah, I'm doing that now. Rick is actually, I'm just seeing the, the uh, results. <laughs> I've speeded up your ribs as well, Healy. Close cool. out, um, close up on um, the orc field. You know we close the way. Can you? Seal it all up. Line the chakras first, and then seal it. Okay. Got two, uh, two cards. Stop, oh. please. Oh, you do want two cards? Absolutely. Balance and spiritual growth. At the balance. Oh, balance is good. Yeah. Yeah. You've been a bit busy lately, so they know that you're being busy. So if you need any help, just ask that's the spirit world. And, sp- and to do with spiritual growth, stop fearing your situation, follow your art, okay? And let the like, growth flow. Is that okay? Is that what- yes, please. I'm yeah. grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Wilma. All right. Wilma is next. She would like healing for herself and her daughter. Oh, and my clock decides to chime. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. all right. Um, it's one o'clock here. Yeah, it's <laughs> 10 a.m. Well, my clock runs a little bit fast. Um, my daughter's recently had surgery on her foot. She injured it uh, Christmas last year when a wine bottle, full wine bottle, dropped on her foot and smashed. At the time, she had stitches done, but she continued to have problem. And so they discovered she had some sort of a very unusual and rare kind of fracture. So she's recent, recently had surgery done for that. Uh, that was a week ago. So I'd like to have some healing sent to her so she can recover from that uh, quickly because she's still in a lot of pain. And I think that's rather odd that she should be in so much pain. Uh, she's on some pretty heavy painkillers, which I'm not really happy about either. But she said if she doesn't, the pain's too much to bear. So um, some healing for her would be would be uh, much appreciated. Have you got a photo? Have a photo? Hang on. Yep, I dug one out so I'd have it ready. I've just shared screen if you want to. Oh, I don't know how okay. to do share screen. That was the, the day or two after she had it done. So she's got her foot on the pillow and she's got the uh, bandage over the initial stitching that was Did done. Do you have on. one with her face showing her eyes? Uh, oh, oh, gosh. I was just going to eat a fever. <laughs> Hang on. Direct, direct on the photograph. I'll, I'll just see if I can find one with her face. Got to go back to December. We get some Christmas ones. And she'll probably pulling, pulling faces. Uh, nearly, nearly there. What, what part of her foot did she break? You know, we just kind of the know. top of it? No, no, no. The, the stitching was on top because that's where the bottle broke. But um, I think it was sort of, I'm thinking like centre but underneath. So the stitching runs from like her the base of her big toe, all the way down the side of her foot and, and even up the heel a little bit. She's got about 20 stitches there, so I don't know what the heck. Um, I'm just oh, looking for... Sorry, it's just a difficult to go through my photos. There's so many... Oh, we're getting close. Oh, nothing broke, just uh, cut the skin. The skin oh, yeah, initially yeah. Was, bro- was, was broken, but then they discovered she had some small little... Some sort of a little complex kind of fracture that's... Oh, uh, airline, airline, airline fracture. Uh, but it required surgery. Okay, should be getting close now. Healers can actually fix broken bone by sending high frequency to the spot where it broke. Hang on, nearly had it. Okay. Not her best photo. She won't be happy with me, but <laughs> you can see her it's face. Only, it's, it's only for healing, though. I don't know if you can see her eyes in that one, though. Do you have her, Phil? Yeah, I'm up. What, what's her name? Robin. Okay, I've got her. You can put her down. Has she had the lollipop? Yes, unfortunately. Can we um, remove that? Please do. Please just do. Just the negative part. Of it. Yeah. The negative part of it. Yeah. Because yeah, I just, I just there. saw, I just saw that. I only wanted you to confirm. Dog is snoring again. Oh my goodness. <sighs> The eleventh chakra is our original blueprint, so that's what we, um, Phil and Rick and I do, is bring through with uh, crystal consciousness and Andromedan consciousness with assistance. We remove the toxins and bring through the eleventh chakra, which is our original blueprint, and that DNA is there. Yeah, what it also does is actually our healing as well. It's trying to make the body back to the original blueprint. Cutting the cord of the nasties. Mm. Does she have a, a pain in her neck as well? Um, I think, yes, she does complain of um, neck pain sometimes, yes. Yeah, that, that came up anyway. What happens is I transfer any negative energy onto me because it's easy to transfer the negative energy from her to me and then I'll ground it like that, because it's not my original. I'm not the uniform of that energy, so I can get rid of it very easily. Thank you. And um, the lollipop is the reason why she had so so much issue. It's it's one of those things where they say it's supposed to be uh, you know informed consent, but really it isn't because you're coerced through yeah, your job. You either take it or you lose your job, and they couldn't afford yeah. that. I know. We're in YouTube. <laughs> I said didn't say it. Oh, no, but we're talking no. about it. 
<laughs> Sorry, I forgot about that. Yeah. Have you got a card for her? Yes, please, a card for her. That would be lovely. Say stop. Stop. Oh, soulmate. Hmm, I don't often get that one. It's interesting. <laughs> I think she might be meeting her soulmate. Maybe. Oh, I not done. I think she's married to her soulmate or so. She seems to oh, think. That's it. That's it. That's <laughs> Someone who's got the same interest, um, similar interest. Well, I don't know. <laughs> right. I, couldn't, I couldn't speak to that, really. That's a no. <laughs> uh, should we send you some healing? Because you've been very worried about your daughter. Uh, so. Yes, please. Um, I'm actually, uh, I've got a bit of a knee issue that's giving me some some grief, particularly over the last few months. It's been constant. Like it used to come and go. I've had it for a few years. So it was never originally an injury. It just occurred one morning when I woke up and it was there. Um, and it's come and gone for a while. It's never been a huge problem. But uh, lately, particularly, I'd say since the beginning of this year, it's been yeah. quite consistent. Do you feel um, movement in it? And do you feel it movement in it? A little bit, yes, yes. Yeah. And it is okay. swollen at the top. And um, um, just yesterday afternoon, I had quite an acute pain in there, which was first time I've had that sort of, you know, intensity of pain. But it's gone now. Uh, well, I think it has. I did yeah. a bit of work on it and overnight. It, and it's only one knee. It's good. only the right knee, yes. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I just think. I was thinking it's the opposite of my knee because I had crucial ligament damage and wanted to operate on it. I'd uh, be in a wheelchair in five years. That was 20 years ago. So I said, no, I'll, I'll re it myself. <laughs> I'm not having pins in it. So you have your back, your back mm-hmm. issues? Uh, yes. <laughs> Nothing major, but I mean, like they tell me that I've got some bulging discs, and yeah, you do. A, I can, I can see them. One is apparently, I know, so they tell me, is sitting on a nerve, and they're amazed that I don't have any pains. <laughs> yep, I can see them. Um, do, do, you do, I, your, do you do your kneeling on them? Though? Do I do ne- any kneeling? Healing. Um, only, healing. Oh, healing. Yes, I, yeah. I, yes, I do. I do. That, that's why. Um, that's why you don't have pain. What what you've done is you turned off your pain receptors out in your mind. So you should have a lot of pain out of them, but you're not getting that pain because because we've got a programmed brain, you've deprogrammed the pain. That's really yeah. interesting because I've always had a low pain threshold. So it was a bit of a wuss bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. When you're oh, doing when you're doing your um your light language, you actually heal yourself. And it's funny that yeah. for some reason you've blocked the ability to heal your knee. For some reason you think that you can't do that, but you can. You do your back quite well. Mm, yeah. I find when I like I did a little hit session with my daughter yesterday. It's the first time I've ever done anything with her. Um Nesta or not yesterday, Friday. And um uh I find if when I do a little bit of a healing work on someone, I always benefit from it afterwards so like Kieran <laughs> so I felt really good yeah. yesterday uh, except yesterday afternoon yeah I the pain in my knee came back really quite intense and I kind of actually wondered if it might have been I don't know related to maybe some sort of psychic attack because I'm having an issue with my real estate agent <laughs> and I'm going to say him <laughs> and I think he's not happy about it <laughs> what, what you could do you could put have your hand out just gently rub visualize manifest whatever the energy creed really you need you mix it around and you have intentions and, and settings set that intention in there rub it around and then rub it into your knee so it's a spiritual creed great yeah thank you I'll, 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 do, I'll, I'll do we'll do some healing now anyway thank you yeah including your back and um your hips yes and all uh, on the right hand side it's all on the right hand side everything I get wrong with me is always on the right hand side yeah mine's always on the left so <laughs> Are you left-handed? Yes. <laughs> I'm right-handed. <laughs> oh, so funny. Can you feel that energy? I'm actually starting to feel it in my back rather than my knee. He's doing your knee. I'm doing your back. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, Rick's doing it. I'm just directing it. <laughs> oh. You put your hands up on it and uh, no. direct a little bit more energy. I'm going to I have a message for you, Wilma. Okay. Ooh, thanks. De- Deb, yes? when I was healing the knee then, I, mean, I'm, I, think, you, I think you had a lot of on you in your knee. A girl, do you know? Oh, thank you. Uh, it, for that I information. I took it to the light if that was okay. Yep. Yes, yes, absolutely. That wouldn't be surprising, which is why um, you weren't able to heal it. Yeah. Yeah. I wondered about that because I thought, gee whiz, I thought I wasn't too bad if I heal it. <laughs> I'm doing a pretty crap job on myself. <laughs> That's not surprising. You know, they see they see our light, and when you know they they're lost, they they don't know where to go. And actually, that's not the first time that's happened to me. I've, I've heard of it before. It's happened to me yeah. before. Yeah. But when I first saw her, I said, "No, I haven't seen her," and she said, "Yes, you have." <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> <laughs> It happens a lot. It does. It really happens a lot. We bump into them at, at a restaurant. <laughs> they, they, they don't attach themselves. They're following people in there. 
all the time or they follow him home from the grocery store yeah <laughs> yeah that's happened to me before my dad when my dad was alive i'd been i'd been to a festival and i came home and my dad said you've just brought three home with you yeah you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes they don't they, they learn so I, I, seem, I seem to adopt lost souls <laughs> yeah well, I, I was saying that's one of your jobs. Is it? That's a job, yeah, to take it to light, yeah. Oh, well, that would be great soul. if I actually know it, but if I'm not even aware of it, it's difficult for me to know what to do, you <laughs> but, know? Yeah. But, that's what that came to me when I was doing it. I, I wanted to tell you, I forgot. I forgot to tell well, you, but yeah, yeah you, I think she has that's to, one of you. Yeah, but she has to be aware of them and she has to be, know that they're there. Yeah. But I, wanted, I do have a message from you. You know how Rick and I have the 12 ancestors. Yes. You also have 12 ancestors around you. I know. As soon as you said that this morning, when you said the 12 ancestors, I thought, Bim, on you know what are you doing no with you <laughs> have you have your own they were telling me they're like she has she has her own i was like that's amazing <laughs> Thank you. Brilliant. So you do, you do know you have your own? Um, well, yeah, I didn't know if they were mine personally. I just thought it was like a collective that I was sort of, no, you know, you, part they, of. No, they're yours. They're, they're your personal. You have 12. Okay. You know you have um you have Native American guides as well. Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Okay. I'm okay. aware of that. Um, I think um, potentially some Aboriginal as well, because I think I'm very in Indigenously connected. Yes. Um, the girl looked Aboriginal, by the way. That would make sense. Mm. You didn't get a name by any chance. No, didn't. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just... not. I'm not. I'm not dead. <laughs> yeah, he's not like me. I asked. They actually give me their names, but um, you know, I, or I asked. But... Oh, I don't. I don't think it's who I'm thinking of. The one I'm thinking of is actually, was actually one of my guides. No, your guides are not. They don't attach to your body. Attach. Okay. Yeah. Good. They're. They're. You know. They don't have to. <laughs> Just, they're there but um yeah you do have your own ancestral group that are there with you to help you mm -hmm. and they're 12 um, yeah what Hopefully. you can do you can start giving yourself healing on your knee now because obviously if it's it's been there a while it still needs to be fair we've done some yeah. repair but you can carry on with that. and, and probably so prob yeah. probably when you started feeling pain is when the um the uh aboriginal jumped on yeah. mm -hmm. so next time don't wait if you start feeling pain again it's probably means you've got an attachment Okay, yeah, especially if it comes out of nowhere, which it did. I mean, I, yeah. I, I'd i yeah. been out dancing the night before, but I hadn't injured it. I didn't do anything different. Um, it was a great night. I woke up in the morning and couldn't bloody walk on my legs. Sorry, bad word. But um, maybe I picked some, <laughs> something up from the whole, like, people from dancing. And you're not cursing, someone, you're not cursing in front of people who don't curse here. <laughs> don't worry. No, oh, thanks very much. That's all good. Yeah. Do you want a card or not? We absolutely yeah. love a card. Thank you very much, Phil. Oh, too. I'm like, thanks, Doc. <laughs> So you stop. Keep going. Okay. Keep going a bit more. Okay, stop. I get good at shuffling. Ah, you know, it sounds like well, I'm just getting information. I'm just giving you listening and new beginnings. Oh uh, yes, the new uh, beginnings. That's... I know about. They are coming because my house is on the market and I'm moving. Oh, good for you. So I know and there's new beginnings. New the chapters. The listeners, this confirms you are listening to them and use the knowledge and intuition. New beginnings could be also that you found out that you know, say, save souls, lost souls. <gasps> Can be that well. Wow, Good excellent. You. I'm so happy that you joined us today. Every month we do this at the same, you know, about the same time every month. Oh, I didn't know. I just happened like Phil tagged me in a post uh, and I thought, oh, terrific. It's an Australian 9 a.m. You beauty, I can make it because all these other ones are like 5 a.m. And I'm like, oh, every, like every month we do this at the same time. Every oh, month. Terrific. Okay. Well, I'll, <laughs> I'll watch out for it then. <laughs> We've been doing this for over a year. Oh, I haven't. I haven't sort of been getting a lot of. I mean, I don't sort of Facebook a lot. I do a little uh, bit, but um, so that's why I would have missed it. Yeah. yeah. So I, I guess he, he, we just realized that if you do at everyone, then everyone will get the post in, in that group. Yeah. So yeah, now, that, that now, was awesome. Now I, I guess it. more people will see it. <laughs> I just got to say, I'm so pleased, Phil, that I didn't get trust. <laughs> the last time we, you did a card for me, it was trust. And I knew trust has been a huge issue, issue but you know what? I've got the, <laughs> this is so I'm drinking in, every time I drink, I'm drinking in trust. And I think it's working. <laughs> I've it's been working nice. on it. Oh, yeah. God, I love you. I'm so love glad you you're too, here. Dear. Mm, I'm so happy to be here. All right. Who <laughs> Thank is you so is? much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Will. Karen Catania, I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. Are you still here? Yeah. Yeah, she, she's here. She's just new to Zoom, so just on mute. There you go. That, you doing it? Yeah. yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm, yeah, I don't know this very well. Oh, well. Sorry. Could you turn a light on, honey, so we could see you better? Yeah, just one second, okay? Yeah. Um, and just so you guys all know, I've known Catania for over... 25 to 30 years. She's the one that introduced me to my spirituality. Ah, wonderful. Great. Thanks for bringing her here. Not a light. I don't know if that'll work.
my work puppies? Is that better? Uh, yes. yes. Thank you so much. Okay. So how do you Are say you? it? Is it is it Catania? Yes. Yeah. Great. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> um, you're facing uterine cancer surgery in the near future. You're hoping that doesn't spread beyond uterus. I would like, how about if we just heal you, uh, the cancer and everything? Let's my husband's gonna sand you, Bill's gonna can, help can, out here. Yeah, can, can I just say one thing? I'm not a doctor, so what I'm saying is do your own study, but boron or borax outline your body yes if you have it now i've got a video on it and i've also got a little pamphlet and i'll send you up tomorrow so oh, it's up to you. you it's up to you but think about it. if your body's in an alkaline system it's less chance of, of growing if you want me yes yeah but so you, I, do you know what borax is bore team 20 mule team bore team everybody goes oh it's soap do you know you don't know what it is you could buy no. it in the laundry de de department of a yeah. oh the borax okay the same borax. Okay, yeah. it's yeah. borax it's you take so much and you put it in uh, distilled water yeah. right it's like an eighth of a teaspoon you put in distilled water, 32 ounces of distilled water. It tastes terrible. You add some. Mix some it with it. juice. Mix yeah, it with yeah, that's what I do. juice or <laughs> okay. so that you can drink it. Drink that every day. Every day. It oxidizes your whatever you called it. It's alkaline your body. Alkalines your body. Mm -hmm. So an eighth of a teaspoon and four cups, right? I'll, yeah. I'll, send, you, I'll send you a video. Okay, the, thank you. This is a, an expert in it who, who shows you how to how create it. She creates okay. two mm -hmm. versions. Do the second and want it stronger and I'll, i've got a little leaflet thing a little post that tells you why it helps it helps help with bacteria it helps a lot that. of stuff blood pressure yeah. i mean a yeah. lot of things but we're not doctors okay. so uh it's your choice yeah i'll try it i'll try anything yeah. one box will last you years and years and years and years and years <laughs> but what 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 are you actually having done medically at the moment are you having any chemo or anything like that radio therapy? um no they said they won't know if i need chemo or radiation until they open me up or until they get me on the table yeah okay. they won't know what's afterwards yeah yeah uh, study it before you make choice i'd recommend that uh some experience i'm with that Right, uh, just relax and let us know what you feel. And um, have you thought of um, other options besides surgery or even having them open you up? Sorry about that. Okay. Puppies. There must be a fox in the yard or something. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, I, I came from the West Coast where there's a lot of alternative healing, and now I'm living on the East Coast, and they don't even believe in it here. Of so, course. yeah, he just says, they basically say to me, they go, you know, I say, well, what happens if I don't have surgery? Well, you'll be dead and sick, up, you know, and I know that's not the same on the West Coast. Yeah. Well, um, where are you? I'm on uh, Cape Breton Island in Nova Scotia. Huh. So, yeah. And I'm from Vancouver Island. So about as far as you can go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's East Coast. Everyone's kind of Catholic here and um, religious more spir than spiritual. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm here, but I am. The landscape's beautiful. Yeah. I just got to let my dog out one second. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, Jay. Here. Both side. Here we go. Question: Would I be interfering if I added some healing as well? Can I do that, or should I not? Go on there. Of course you can. <laughs> Thank you. I do. Yeah, of course you can. Oh, the best. Yeah. You know, I think everyone's just doing the right thing. Like we're all helping, so I figured just get in there and like heal away. I know if the more you can get in there, the better. Because like when I was doing it, the more energy you can push into that body, it's going to help that cellular structure to really come to where it needs to be. You just jump in, guys. <laughs> everybody, any, uh, everybody here. Do. Whole space and, and sense healing is is uh you know, we're all in this together we're all we're all one here good good Hey, Philip, have you ever heard of alkaline water sticks? No. <laughs> no? You buy them now? Hmm? I have now. You have now, okay. Tatiana, this is not uh, something you asked to experience. So before you came here, you sat with your guides and you you just you decided how what you wanted to experience in this lifetime on 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 Earth. This is not something you asked to experience. So this is definitely something we can heal. I'm letting you know because we're connected to Creator and we're also connected to your higher self. This is not something you're supposed to experience. This is all chemically induced from foods and air and water and okay. So I don't care what that 
that doctor said to you, this is not something that's going to take you out. You're supposed to be here. For a while? Yes. Can I say, can I say something? I know it's a little bit difficult. Have you had the lollipop? Pardon me? Have, Have you had, you had any... the lollipop? Lollipop? Yeah, the lollipop. It's, it's a code name. It's a code name for... Oh, the COVID thing, you mean? No, no, don't say it. We're on YouTube. We're trying not to say it. Because... <laughs> oh, sorry, okay. Because of the restrictions on YouTube. Yeah. Have you had that or not? Yes. Right. Okay, okay. would you like to... Oh, oh, we need that. Reluctantly twice, and I'm not going for the next two. Right. right. Yeah. Just sit down and relax. That's all we need now. Okay. So I guess my need... main concern right now is, like, I'm 62 and a half, and I've got cancer for the second time. My mom had cancer for the second time, and she died at 63. So I want to get that out of my head. Yeah, don't mind my husband, it. my husband's father died at 67, 69. His sister died at 69. My husband just turned 70. Woo! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can all sit there and, and, and claim it if you want. You want to claim that? No, no. I'm seeing something else for you. Okay. Where, where's, was your mother spiritually awake? She was, yes. Okay. We all claim, we all decided when we wanted, how and when we wanted to leave. This is not something you actually decided. Decided. So let's let's do let's take one thing at a time and let's take take away the lollipop. Okay. You might feel very well. One second, baby. Can you feel any energy? I, I'm feeling actually. I'm feeling really hot and my teeth are hurting. Yeah. You have pain in your neck. Well, or oh, have my neck you had, is really have, sore. Yeah. Do you hear that crack? Yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> I don't hear it. I feel it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You might feel a bit of tingling as well in your fingers. My, I was just gonna. Yeah. Katiana, has anyone told you that you are an angelic? You know what? Has anyone told you you're an angelic? No. Well, you are. So there's a purpose for you being here. You you volunteered to come here. You're an angel. So what does that mean? Or... What it means is when you're done here, you'll go back to the angelic realm. Is it okay to let my dog in? Sorry. Yes, go ahead. Okay, one sec. I don't know if they allow them. Come on, Pete, here. Come here. They were quiet right until the, I started here. Like, I don't know. That's all right. Is, is your dog Fifi? Pardon me? Did you say Fifi? The dog is Fifi? No, Faith. Oh, Faith. Yeah, I got five here. It's all right, we have seven animals in this house. Oh, do you? Good. <laughs> it's, it's just it's just a zoo. Uh, two two are my granddaughters that were were taken care of until she finds a place that she can have them. We have twelve. Better. The rest are ours. We claim them. Uh, mm -hmm. I would like to share with you guys because you some of these people here have my music, Catania, and. The meditation song, Instrumental Silence, it was Catania's spiritual center when she did a guided meditation that I tapped into that energy and that it was her that, where that song was channeled from, that beautiful energy. Mm -hmm. I love you, my friend. Love, love you, dear. Oh, wow. It's beautiful. I miss you. I, I just want to assure you that um, you have a, there's a purpose for you here. I don't know what your purpose is. That's that's something that you have to find out. But I don't want you to go into fear just because they told you you have cancer. If that's you know that's their that's that is their goal because they want to make money. That's their big money is cancer. Yeah. Dad, can I say a bit of my personal experience? Of course. I don't, I don't normally stay on here, but I am anyway. Uh, my wife had stage four cancer in every every major organ, right? And she oh. was given she was given six hours to live. That's what she and they wanted they wanted my kids to say goodbye to her after my healing she had lasted 11 months so it don't whatever they say take it a pinch of salt get your own ideas for it get your own knowledge mm -hmm. with it so that's why i'm quite experienced with the uh, but the, the problem was she had stage four if it was stage one or two i'd probably be okay with it but she wanted to take chemo i advised her not to put a choice and a choice whether you go for it or not the chemo was either to heal in the yeah. yeah, I had chemo and radiation with the breast cancer, and I'll never do it again. Yeah, it, it makes you worse, I think. It does. Uh, but oh. after, I, after I gave it healing, I stayed with her overnight. After I gave it healing, my daughter saw me, and she said I looked like I was 80. <laughs> I, gave <laughs> all my, I gave her all my chi energy, your brownie, mm -hmm. your soul energy. Gave her a lot, and I mm hardly -hmm. had any left. But I, I got to live in a little other month. That's wonderful. Yeah. Oh. So, so she could say goodbye to all the family. And, nice. and I'd go on holiday a few times. 
Um, but I want, I, I, you know, I, I just, Rick scanned you and I'm looking after our healing and I don't see anything. Do you see anything, Phil? I'm not quoting. <laughs> you, you need to just be careful what you eat and what you're taking and uh, body care, baby. Like, I, look after your body. Hmm? I did a cellular reduction on the sacral, so it should make a difference. There shouldn't be any inflammation there. So there should be a good clearing with that. There may be a little bit of residual uh, inflammation just at the bottom of the, near the cervix. I couldn't quite grab that on my own. So. Phil, I don't know if you can go into down just at the bottom of the cervix there. there was just a bit of I, I did. I removed an implant and I went yeah. into it and uh, did some Sorry. damage to the other end. He actually had an implant. That's why he had finger in your finger. I was removing it then, but I'd already gone to the, the destination and destroyed it all. Well, that cool. oh. hmm? had that, that cellular work done on it. So you should be fine. Should be yeah. good. Just so eat well. Does that mean I don't need surgery? That's your choice. <laughs> your choice, <laughs> but... We're, you we're know, not doctors. We're not doctors. We're not doctors. We don't claim to be, but... I I, I don't see it anymore. I'm not allowed to under me insurance. <laughs> I'm going to um, hmm? I had surgery, but I'm not going to say that it is the only way. Um, predominantly work on cellular reduction in the sacral area. Uh, keep yourself aligned, eat well, lots of water, um, and just be with nature. Put your butt on the ground. Like, that's what I did. I literally, like, just asked the earth, just remove anything that was not good for me. Get your get down in there. Do some yoni that's cleansing. Yeah. The yogas are amazing. Um, Pal Santo, say, just underneath you and uh, really get in there and really love yourself. That That's sort of what helped me. I'm five yeah. years now and I was told I had three months. Sorry. It does work. Wow. Ke thank Ke you. Kelly, Kelly, I was just going to say, she's got to raise the vibration. I was thinking while I was healing that she needs plenty of water in the next yeah. 24 hours. Not drown yourself, but pure water. And, and Because we, we, we've like we've shifted a lot of toxins and it's drained out. Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I I'll drink a lot of water anyways. Yeah. So. You got a card? Thank you. See? Do I have a card? You want a uh, card. Do you want a card? Oh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget about the borax. I'll, 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 I'll send the messages anyway. Okay. Okay. Stop. Mm. Right. Ah, <laughs> this is a, a self acceptance. Mm. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think we were just saying that. And uh, music. So, and music. Uh, Steam oh. can, can, can send you some. Uh, <laughs> Cancer removal music, I think. Thank yeah. you. Uh, wow. God, yeah, I'm those. Ernie. So, so what you got to do is you got you're too difficult on yourself. You got to start loving yourself more, and the music just frequency lift your vibration with the uh, music. Mm -hmm. that makes sense thank you to ground you to ground yourself what yeah. what's that one uh so that tells me that the healing was successful peace after struggle so that just it's confirmation just that the healing's successful so definitely all good thank you kelly <laughs> thank you how would you feel anyway is it Catania? Catania. Catania. Yeah. Catania with a cough. Yeah. yeah. I can't. I can't speak English very well anyway. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're doing great. No. Uh, thank you, everybody. I appreciate thank it. You. Thank you, Ernie, for introducing me to all these. You're welcome. Okay, Rhonda Ma. She wants two cards. Where do I send them? Hey guys. Hi Rhonda. Uh, hi Rhonda. Hello. How are you? Good. Okay. Bye. Good to be here. I'm so. I'm so grateful you guys are doing this. Yeah. And for people halfway around the world, so that makes me. <laughs> I think what Kelly just gave you a card. What was the card? Pentagon. Huh? You asked for two cards, and sources like three them out. So uh, you have the Emperor card, and um, so that always means for me that source or spirit is present in in your moment. So you, you have definitely connected with your source spirit. Um, but you also got the Ace of Pentacles, which is material or money gain. So you're you're coming into something really cool. So wow. you know, good stuff coming. That's some good That's stuff awesome. coming. That's great. Yeah. Perfect. 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 So yeah, and, and with all that, all, all, all that money you get, and you got <laughs> you've got self acceptance and focus. Oh, so you start loving yourself with all that money. <laughs> <laughs> self acceptance and focus. And, and, yeah, fo focus basically means intuition on your journey yeah, yeah. so check your yeah. thoughts out get some intuition yeah, yeah. Um, I, I am definitely a work in progress <laughs> is that a ruin so oh, yeah. yeah so spirit says work on the third eye phil if you can yeah. thank you okay is that for Great. me i'm joking is for me or you <laughs> I, i'll give you one tarot card i have done tarot cards since the seven eight okay should i say stop yeah, did you wait, have wait one sec tell us one Tell them when. Oh, okay. I didn't know whether you heard. Did you say stop? Yes. I did say stop. <laughs> okay. It's uh, eight 
Trump's adjustment. That's because of all the money you get. You got to adjust to your lifestyle. Oh my! <laughs> well, I, 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 I mean, we'll I'm done. And by the way, Alistair Crowley card. That's funny. Okay. Yeah, the original yeah. set. Very I was good. Given, I was given them when I was eight. All you, right. You, Is that all you, you wanted, want? darling? Or do you want some healing? Uh, no, I am doing. Um, I am working, like I said, I'm a work in progress, and um, I think everything is uh, going the way that it needs to for now. So yeah. the only other thing I, I would love to find um, if there is a message for me. I think you just had all the messages in the tech card. Uh, have you got one? That, that, that? Nobody's talking right now, honey. I don't no, have no. any. I have a card. Okay. Our, our angel, jo- Jovial. Um, it's, uh, she's a um, beautiful angel, and it says, dream come true. Believe in yourself at the end of a difficult situation. No. No oh, shit. Yes. <laughs> I think all them cards are quite. Oh, there's your message. There yeah. it is. There it is. That's perfect. All that right. is perfect. Right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I, you're I welcome, really honey. You and you're you're so wonderful. So thank you for all your giving, really. And um, you're welcome. that's that's it. I, I'm good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Enjoy. Ernest and Ernestine is next. The traveler. Oh, that's me too. Uh, maybe I can jump in here. I'm ending my travels, but sorry, I don't mean to jump in somebody else's space. I'll be quiet. Ernestine wants a, a scan. Are you un? Mm-hmm. Are, are you are you muted? Yes, I am now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you weren't talking because we weren't hearing you, lady. Uh, the uh, yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, no, here we are. Yeah, okay, all rested up and back to normal. Uh, more or less. I just went out and spent another grand on recording stuff yesterday. Well, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's it's what you do, so that's okay. Exactly. All right, so let's see. Rick has scanned you. <laughs> Get rid of the guilt for spending the money. Okay, I already feel that. <laughs> Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> that's the human side of me that's being responsible, going, oh, shit. But yet I'm going, this is an investment into me and what I do. Okay, release it. Release it. You can let that okay. go because you know what? Because okay. this is what you do. Your music is so important. Yeah. It's okay to spend that money. Mm-hmm. It'll all come back to you. So let it go. Release it. Really, truly release that. I, I, I hear you. I'm trying. <laughs> That's the key word. I'm trying. <laughs> Didn't say crying. I wow. Crying. <laughs> Why is it so hard for you to spend money on yourself? It's not that. I'm okay, just going this, little... this yeah. dog's killing me. Yeah. This dog just, <laughs> can I have a mask, please? <laughs> It's easy to blame I'm a dog. Cry. I'm going to cry in a minute. Deb, Deb, it's easy to blame a dog, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Marley, Marley, you're a lady, remember. You're not sitting here. I'm trying to stay focused, but I'm dying. Are you all right? You okay, Toby? Dog owners know what I'm talking about. Yes, we do. Just, just get a lighter and light me up. Making my nose run. <laughs> I don't think he got a good one. <laughs> I think all the energy left the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's <kidding. laughs> oh, they're laughing. They didn't leave. <laughs> oh, my God. Now we have another one crying at the door. Let me in. I'm telling you, I live in the zoo. <laughs> so do we. We do, too. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry. And Steve, <laughs> I'm going to laugh your guilt out of you. <laughs> <laughs> You need to release it. <laughs> you're, hitting, you're hitting the tears for me. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Guilt has no way. No, <laughs> Laughter's good. Laughter's good. At the end of the day, he's got to release the negativity. Yeah, guilt is negative. Is negative energy inside of us. So we, we have to, there's no reason for us to feel bad for spending money on ourselves. When it, especially, number one, it's what you do for a living. It does bring you money when you go out and 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 uh, play music for people. It does bring income in. Number two, it's joy. Yep. It lifts people's energy and yours as you're doing it. There's no reason to feel guilty. It will come back. Release it. I want you to take it, that guilt in your hand, and blow it away. <laughs> Ernestine, have you had a bad back since uh, coming back? It's always been there. The lower, yeah. lower, lower back? Yeah, I'm getting yeah. that. I've just renewed some of it. Now. Thank you, because there's basically nothing left for when I understand from the x-rays, my lower back. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm like Wilma. I have very high tolerance for pain, but if I feel it, I'm feeling it. 
we were carting a lot of stuff around the airport too. When you left, you missed your flights and you, you had to sleep in the airport. Well, you didn't sleep basically. Yeah, well, that was. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the trauma and it was a trauma. Yeah, it was an excruciating thing. I got through it. I've been there. I traveled for eight years internationally. Oh, the same time. And the same flight. No. <laughs> You're funny. You're so funny. <laughs> yeah, it was it eight years in an airport? <laughs> Well, I sure got an education on Houston and Dallas Airport. No, not my favorite. I know. Holy smokes. At least you were in a new Dallas Airport. Uh, Honey, it used to be one long, one long terminal. One. (laughs) Well, then now you have to get a rail railway, I think they call it, get to another terminal. At least you have that now. It never used to be that way. And if you had to get to another terminal, you had to take a bus. (laughs) You you got the new and improved Dallas. Can you feel that energy or anything? I'm feeling something. (laughs) I'm being honest with, yes. it's because when I say this, because I don't feel my body, I don't feel it in my to do the drama. I know that's another thing that's um, it's up to you to release. It's just letting it go. Somebody said something dear Hugo, and it really made sense that we hold on to the memory of that, and all it is is a memory, and it's about letting go of that memory. Yeah. And what when they whoever was that said that a couple of days ago, it made sense to me yeah. because there's different ways of expressing things, but that really resonated with me mm-hmm. about perspective of how to look at it. Yeah, yeah, it is. And he, and when you talk about the traumas, it brings it all back, and you, it's exactly. almost it's almost like it's almost like you're you're reliving that trauma and you're and you're you're adding more scars. Exactly. Talking That's about it doesn't doesn't help you because you've okay. talked about it. You it, and you 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 say you released it. Okay, why are we talking about it again? Mm-hmm. You're just rebruising yourself here. You do that same thing over and over again. So release it, release it, let it go. It's done. Oh, I do the same thing. I overanalyze it. I, I think about it. Something happens to me. I don't let it go. It's constantly I overanalyze. My, not to somebody else in my head. Yeah. I think I we are our best myself. Friend. We are our best friend, but also our worst enemy. I, why, why can't I let it go? And then I talk to the creator. Why is this bothering me? The person is not thinking about it. I am. Why? I am analyzing it. I mean, they were rude. They were mean. They were nasty to me. So I told them they were mean. They were, they were nasty to me. So why can't? Why am I feeling bad? Because I told them that. <laughs> That or they were mean to somebody else, and I let them know that they shouldn't be doing that. Why is it bothering me that I did that? Why do I have to relive this over and over in my head? You know what I mean? I just constantly analyze it. So you're, and like you, you're going to sit there and relive this money you spent. Why are you doing that? Mm-mm, I'm not doing that. Mm-mm. No, it's just I've spent so much money in the last three months. It's scary, but I know it's all invested into me. I'm so just what? saying, yeah. So what? I'm just saying, just saying, I'm not just, it is what it is. And I'm taking one <laughs> step forward each day. I'm not going backwards. Mm-mm. Okay. I, no, 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 no. It's just yeah. Now it's really yeah. Yeah. Have you done this scan, Pamela? I've done the healing. Yes, yes. Oh, you can't. You know, shuffling can. But you deserve that. You deserved it. You deserve to yeah. to have a, to to do this for yourself. Yep. So now we'll it's, move it's, forward. Yeah, because it's about me being able to record in my own home, in my own face, in my own time. Right. And that, oh, yeah. No, I know that. Right. You got them too, by the way. Okay. You got the power of the creator, but creator talking to you, you just need to listen more. Yeah. Yeah. So he talks, probably talk to you when you play your music. You've got to listen to him as well. Yeah, yeah. They're always talking to me when I'm channeling. <laughs> it's awesome. And I'm going to say this to anybody who's not heard my music, I encourage you to come check me out. I'm on YouTube as well as Facebook right now. And if you look for the soulful guitarist, Ernestine Day, right? My music has shifted and changed, and I've gone so much deeper in my music, so much deeper now than I ever have. Yeah. Because and you'll continue. De- and you will continue to grow. Yep. And that's because of me, Devon Rick. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, brother. You got it. <laughs> no, it's because of you. You're beautiful. We love you. Love you, brother. Thank, thank you, Deb. <laughs> thank you, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that one. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> Oh, and now for more comedy. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Thanks, sweetie. Take care. Next is Libby. Did you say Libby? I did yeah. say Libby. Yay. I would just like a stand for attachment. Um, what did I put? Three things. Um, attachment, implant, tracker. And healing as well. You meant. Did I? That's what I was referring to. How have you been feeling? Well, very well. You, you do look a lot better, really do. Uh, yeah, thank definitely. you. A lot of sleep in the last three days because of this human resin, I mm. think, or I needed it, or both. I don't see any. What about you, Phil? No, it's not, uh, I'm just uh, sending some healing to you, you know, yeah. Uh, Next. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. House is clean, too. How'd you know? 
I'm, we're scanning the outside, the, the house, and then everything. Thank you. The energy is quite high vibration at the moment. You got the music. You're doing the so well, Libby. Good for well, you. You're doing so you. well. Thank you. Thank you. I had to hear Ernestine's music with my JBL speaker. I, I wrote. That's so awesome. Good. Her music's yeah. wonderful. Hey? I turned it on it when I got home, and it was on the green playing. It was magical. <laughs> That'll keep your vibration high. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you may feel some um, warmth and energy going down from your neck down your arms too. Any dead body? <laughs> no, no. Nope. I have I have assisted three people to the light. Good. Wow. Mm -hmm. I was going to say I haven't checked your freezer. It's <laughs> <laughs> a joke. But... Right. How do you feel? Very well. You, Good. Well. Good. you got a Good. couple of cards. Yes, please. Well. Now. All right. See. Wow. Blessings. So you're getting blessings and power. Blessings and power. Yeah, blessings means you're getting extra blessings off the angels. And Ooh. yeah, that's an excellent card. And power, you've got the power of creator. Yeah. Oh. Divine love, wisdom, intelligence mm. available. So you got beautiful cards there. Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah. You're welcome. Well. Thank you. Much love. Thank you. Cheers. Was Terry Wilford still here? I was looking before. I couldn't see. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Sheila and Norma. Oh, here we are. Hello. 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 We're, we're honored. Let me just say we're honored and blessed beyond to be here with this group of just my goosebumps. So that means that uh, source is just running over, just pouring over. We're, we're honored. We're honored we're to have you. Yeah. Yes, we are. You could probably feel all the energies because we're sending it out, but you should be able to feel it anyway. I feel all the energy. I felt all the energy from everyone that has been, uh, uh, you know, uh, done. So, yes, I felt it all. And I, I, I take it and I throw it out um, up to uh, the light. Yes, mm. it just happens. I, I, I just do what I'm supposed to do. Mm. So you'd like a scan to make sure that um, your mom and you don't have any um, implants or I, I attachments? Would, or... Yes, because as you know, light being uh, We're all well, under attack, yes. Yeah, obviously, yeah. <laughs> so I'm un really under a lot of attack a lot of times, so and I, I do try to do the work, but we, we're, I'm so uh, overwhelmed with uh what I do uh, on earth uh, we have 12 animals and um, my mother I take care of her and, and the house and so I don't really get a lot of time to do the work I'd like to do so mm -hmm. yes anything that you can offer uh, would be a blessing yes sometimes this attack is deliberate to stop us on our journey yes uh, but yeah. that, thank you Phil because I have to say I have been I have felt held back for a long time and I, I feel like something has been purposely doing this hmm. i feel Definitely. it all the time hmm. I, I was i've been on sack for a decade and I, I was at my lowest and i could see him in my uh mind's eye and i froze him in my timeline with my soul anger soul anger is not like brain anger it's really deep and i actually froze him and a medium asked me to release him because source had contacted her i didn't even tell i didn't even know the medium but she said frozen someone on that when you got that viewing wow wow <laughs> so, so me me and me and david released him one we did a video but we did it it wasn't recorded we released them to source because i'm not going to just release them like that and they'll just come back and do it right yeah but uh, that was quite fascinating that one are Four any of them. your animals sick yeah. yes um there are uh, several of them are on uh medicine but um we do have uh, our dog is sitting right in front of us actually here uh, he has a lot of issues a lot of physical issues and uh heart issues and um so we're not really quite sure that he's going to hang on a long time no he's a rest feel like that there's negative there are some negative energies and they are attacking your animals to get to you. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, I know this. I know this. And I try uh, to heal the animals. Uh, we communicate psychically. And um, so they're always laying on me and I'm always trying to heal them. Of course, they're always trying to heal me. But I know they go through them uh, to get to me. Yeah, there's a there's a portal in your garage. Thank you. And that's where the negative energies are coming from. They're coming <laughs> in through your garage. Wow. Okay. Well, I wonder if it has to do with my sister who had her stuff there two years ago and then she she died after she left here um she left in a in a negative way but she was staying with us just for a short period she had a lot of issues i know she had a lot of dark energy hanging on her but she was such a light being she left here and then she died a year later a uh, massive stroke uh, fell off her sofa and uh died um and I just wonder, all of her stuff was in our garage for a while. Why? 
just relax and I'll, uh, I'll come Thank over. Thank you. I'll, I'll do healing as well about you. Thank you. Your mom, is your name Norma? Yes. Do you have pain in your head? Do you have headaches? Do you get migraines? No. Um, I was getting, I was getting back pain. She does. I do. You get the migraine. Yeah. Who has the bad back? And her. And we me. both do. <laughs> Oh yeah, three surgeries. Norma, do you have Norma? Do you have dreams? Dreams. Um, yeah, not often. I do. So these cards, like that you pulled, they're like, yeah, you can we get that out of her like house, please? Like I can feel it. Oh, yeah, like, I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on to it. All right. It's that, so it's that girl, so the young girl, she's just confused. There's like she's stuck between. Can someone just assist with that? I've, I've got another one just on the side. Yeah, that I'll get. yeah I know. We're t- I'm worried about the negative ones right now. I know about the attachment. Yeah, but they're attached to because of her. So if you can, if one of you guys can assist with her, they will effectively release themselves. Yeah, well, yeah what you base, they're around her and she's around the out. I get that, yeah. So if you so can she- just get the root cause, then we'll remove the iconics that are just behind that. Thank you. Just, she's got a lot of issues. We'll have to try and get rid of get these layers out of the way. Bonnie, can you assist? Is Bonnie still there? Bonnie, can you assist with that young girl, please? And I'll just do the archon. Got a lot of anger. In her. Yeah. Uh, she felt betrayed, like heavily betrayed. That's like really like oh, not pleasant. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Just take a big breath, sweetie, for me. Remain calm for us while we do this. You're safe and you're held. You're fine. <laughs> Best way to shift someone who's uh, grounded is to send them love, unconditional love. Doesn't matter what, what they think of you, send them love. Exactly right. Go into your heart space and go into love. Go into love. Don't be afraid. And breathe. Can we get a big breath? I need a big breath. And release it slowly. Right, down deep into your prana and your, your, your heart shock. Can you just seal that portal, please? I've just got like, Philip, can you seal that now? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I'm happy with that now. And just now, just Bonnie, just help with handover, please, with the young girl. Thank you. Cheering, guys. Good work. I'm just going to ring a bell. That one. Well, can you just check the area, please? Um, uh, she's just, uh, the woman's just going now. There, there's a lot of dominions around her. Even yeah. demonics, they were trying to yeah. help her into that sort of reality. Uh, yeah, no. I'll sweep all these up in a minute. Just, and I think she's like... She's gone. Did she lose somebody? Did she lose someone very close? A sister. Sister. Yeah. No, I mean, that your sister, did she lose someone? That's the guardian that's been assigned at the moment for that. Mm. That's picked that up, Phil. Yeah. The ancestral guardian for that moment. No, but what I'm getting is with your sister. About, about three doors down from her, where there's a negative. Can someone can someone approach that and rem- it's it's only an attachment to the house. So whoever's three doors up from her to the left, I can feel it like in the area. There's another portal just open three doors up. Oh. If someone's been to that and thought that out, Phil, probably you'd be best on that. It's not too bad. It's only a small one. We, That's we, definitely- we, 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 we're, we're creating a portal for all these minions to go back to where they come from. Oh, yeah. wonderful. And I'm just going to open another one on the other side. I reckon I've got, you know what? You're sitting right in a hive. Like, that's fucking horrible. Yes, thank you. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. Can I set a seven-point axis on top of that and just do a scan, please, for any other hives? Yeah, there's one. So just go below, Phil. If everyone can just head down to that bottom main, you can see it. It's lit up now. And just shut that down and just transition. Bonnie, can you help with transition for them, please? There's 11. Are you talking to me? I've got like a few i've got bonnie she's in there helping and assisting and i've got you guys i can feel all of you guys on this hive we're just there's just one that needs shut down i can feel that this is an older hive it's been around for a while yeah darling where do you live what town is this what town is with this? green valley arizona mm. i'm in uh, phoenix we're close to mexico i know you are this is um this is underground this is where they are sacrificing children yeah i was picking that up <laughs> Can we get yeah. more? I'm going to call more ground crew up if we can mm-hmm. for that. This is. It's not, they're quite. They're not strong or anything like that. There's just. A, there's a lot of them. This is awful. Uh, we 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 actually giving them a choice. Go into our portal back to yeah. wherever, yeah, or, said, or they die. <laughs> I can't do anything other than that. That they're. they're I, I'm, I'm I'm bringing my my team in anyway you, as well. You, the galactics are notified. We're okay. Like so, this is good. Just clearing that last. It's going to take a little while. So 
it's probably going to take about four hours for that process to happen effectively, I've been told. Just to keep your area as clean as possible. Um, yes. and to just constantly to me, cleaning, constantly cleaning. Yeah, so, yeah, just keep your, keep your area safe and clean. Remain aware of your personal presence. Yes, okay. Uh, over the next four hours, this 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 hive will be cleared, oh. uh, transmuted. Wonderful. That's all I can do. That's end of communication from the Arcturians. I've got nothing more from the Arcturians now. Oh. Yeah, ley lines being graded a bit. Stop always messing about. To make the vibration. Look. I'm just. I've just put in some extra security around the centrifugal safety net that was in there. Like we, we in each of the gates, uh, some of the exterior uh, nodes, uh, the the security systems on them have have. Well, they need upgraded basically. And so one of those nodes was just a little bit like of an older sequence. So I've just upgraded that sequence uh, on that. It should run more effectively and should uh, effectively it should give more protection guidance as well oh, thank you. remembering keeping those deep like big breath in and really breathing right down and releasing anything if you feel anything come into that area or anywhere that you've like, got on you yes phil you did amazing thank you you're awesome thank you guys. You, you I've, got I've, I've just cleared some out of one of your mirrors oh well yeah like a board in the mirror yes exactly i'll send you both feeling now thank you. yeah I'm also, I'll put, because uh, one of me aspects ain't Jermaine, I'll put Violet Lane in structures, yeah, okay. I've put the line sun behind her, like behind that area. It should sit nicely. It'll help. Well, they're moving them out quick. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Does yeah. that feel, can you feel the release already? I can feel like it's lightening already, that density. I can, I can. Yeah, they're moving them pretty quick. Can you drink some water for me, sweetie? <gasps> Thank you. She wants food. All right, my bit. How do you feel? I feel uh, light, but my head is actually just a little bit swimming, and uh, I've got some tingling going on, but uh, I feel more clear. Both of you should feel healing. It wasn't... Um... Yes, my yes. mother. Yes, I do. I feel I feel lighter. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can your mom feel that it's easy to breathe? Notice there was like a bit of tightness in there. Yes, she's been feeling, she's been having problems in that area. Yes, she has. Yes, I have. She's experienced a bit of a relief in the next four hours, that lady. She's going to feel, you're going to feel a release in the next four hours. Oh, okay. The, the other thing is because of the density of the energy in you and it's gone now, that's another reason why you feel like. Oh, okay. wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, we're grateful. We're just grateful. Thank you so much. Okay. That was um yeah, so that's perfect. So I just asked for clarity and we just got the, the man with the man. So we're all good. We're on board, guys. We're all we're all good. Oh wonderful. Thank you so much. Well, um, you have to give me you have to give me a few minutes. I need to feed the dog and um Sheila, I've given yes. you I've given you an energy ball. It's an healing energy ball for your animals. So you'll have it for a few hours. Oh, so you thank put you. you put your hand on the animals that you want healing. Yes. And you should be able to feel the energy going out. Oh, okay. thank you. Yeah, I that's will. A, we that's have a new 12 of them. Yeah, oh. well, the ones that need it the most. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, I will. Thank uh, you. That's, that's a new way of healing. It is a new way, but I, I do anyway. But I've never you. done it that way before. I know I do do. I give energy balls to people to heal slowly, so the energy goes out slowly. But okay. I've never passed one onto someone. To give it to. I'm taking yes. it, Phil. I'm taking it, and it's going to yeah. work. <laughs> I feel yeah. it. Uh, yeah. do, you want to, do you want to say stop, and I'll give you a I'll give you two cows or four. Ah, oh, two or four. Oh, how funny. Four. Four. Yeah, it's, it's two of you, isn't it? They stop. Yeah. Right, one, two, three, four. Right, here you are. Hopefully, easy. Read them. Serenity, manifestation, chant. And, uh, so there's Archangel Michael, enchantment, manifestation, serenity. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. So, Wonderful. what they mean. Basically, the uh, manifestation, basically, that you're receiving peace and happiness on your path. So that sounds like our healing's done well. The serenity, peace of mind is within us. It's like the same card. Wow. <laughs> Enchantment, that's quite an interesting one. That basically means you need to connect with your inner child and recapture your childhood magic. Oh no, oh. it's enchantment. Yeah, that's right. right. And Archangel Michael is making his presence shown to you. So basically, you're getting like protection of. 
this is just fantastic. So yeah. nothing I I, I I know. I have no word. We're blessed. We're blessed to you. Yeah. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. That's so nice. Thank you. It's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. Can't even express uh, how just fantastic and, and evolved and the enlightenment and everything. Wonderful goosebump. <laughs> is Kelly got a card? Say that again. Um, is Kelly got a card? How did the work go on the on your card? Yeah, um, I uh, I have one. I was going to make a cup of tea and go to the toilet, but I'm here. <laughs> oh, you can't do that. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. So um, this is the craft of art pays off. So stick with where you're going. Like, isn't that path, sweetie? Um, so your passion, your desires, like you're, you're, you're on the right, like your, your, your artistic self knows, you know, your inner artistic self. Normally that's when I get hard. It's really like guiding you to uh, do your own thing, yeah, because it's going to pay off in the end. So just stay with what you know and what feels right for you. Don't want to be on the right path. That's oh, thank you. Yes, I've been kind of wanting to know uh some validation justification sort of. thank you that helped me quite a lot most welcome i'm going to my tea i'll be right back Thanks, <laughs> hi deb oh, well, thank you oh thank you phil thank you, thank you, phil. Thank you everyone we really we can't express it enough thank you god bless that was a lot of work though <laughs> It was a lot of work. It was a lot of work. I think we're exhausted now. <laughs> you should be. You should be, you should be exhausted. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only half past two in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for your light and all your work. You're welcome. Okay. Beverly? I'm Beverly. trying to look. I can't see her, Beverly. Okay. Daphne? Is Daphne still here? No. Nope. Yeah, Daphne. she's here. There she is, Daphne. Hello, darling. You're still on mute. Yeah, she likes speaking in mute. <laughs> <laughs> it helps us. Let's so... see. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, life throws away, throws many distractions my way and experiences and different things. And it, uh, well, sometimes uh, take me away from healing myself uh, in um, things that take uh, more than one day. <laughs> um, so anyway, I was hoping that you could help me with my feet. There is, um, I believe. I think, I think you're being attacked. You're being attacked too. All right. That's some kind of something in your feet. What? Yeah, they're, they're both swelling. I thought I had a torn ligament uh, where my toes were spreading apart. I bought toe socks and I stitched the toes together to hold the, the toes in alignment. And I've been wearing... Um, uh, cushion gel, gel soul, uh, soles. And uh, I've been talking to my innate and myself. And it's just, um, it's been a long, been a long, too long a process. Uh, and I'm getting pulled away from, with all distractions and huge. Why didn't you, why didn't you through. contact us? Why didn't I? Yeah. Because. <laughs> because I, you know, I try to do things myself, you know, I try know. to be independent, you know. I know, you're like him. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I, thought, I thought maybe we could team together and, and give this a boost to healing, you know. I think so, too. Phil, um, do you see what I'm seeing? Because yeah, I'm, I'm not down in that. So it looks like, I'm not sure if, it, if they're implants or parasites, because I, I can't really tell. I think they're parasites. I think, no, I think they're implant parasites. Ah. How can that be? Mm. The, a parasite designed with an implant. Uh, in the lab, they make the implant spikes. And I've seen it once before. That's new to me. Yeah. It's kept me from going on my, on my nature walk because I have to be off my feet. Well, of course, yeah. because of course, because that raises your vibration. Right, mm -hmm. right. So, you know, I go barefoot anyways when I go to water my plants every day and when I go sit and meditate and sun gaze. But uh, I miss my I miss my nature walks and, mm, and you know, connecting to my elementals that in that course. I know. What it's like, Deb, it's like when you can create an entity to eel. You can create a being with like eel. You can also attach an implant to that being. So. Where is it coming from? Not the bell. <laughs> No, the implants. I, you know what? There's a portal. It's not in her house. It's next door. Behind the property, maybe. The house behind the property. Because all I hear is laughter and music coming from the other ones. And I hear a lot of, I, I hear not so good vibrations from the property behind. And I, you have pain here. Pardon me? You have any pain here. In my right, my right yeah. shoulder, I'm yeah. getting little soft, tender areas, and yeah. yet whenever I, whenever I fall and skied off a two-story roof with a roofer, I didn't land on that shoulder, and it, there's no injury to that shoulder. I had yeah. an injury to my left shoulder, but my right shoulder is popping up, kind of doing popping things and tender spots. Mm -hmm. I just took some energy off. Hmm. But yeah, it's been quite an adventurous month. Hmm. 
you know, your little kitty tried to fight them off. Oh, wow. I bet she actually had to. I, I saw where she just walked away from me because my energy was not good one time. I don't know, you know, what they were doing to me at that time, but I didn't blame her. It was like, okay, yeah. <laughs> but the next day she came over, her and she comes, shows up whenever I was crying, whenever I don't cry very often. But when I was going through this major purge a few days ago, she actually would show up just when I needed her, you know, out of the blue. She did that two days in a row. And then I had upgrades yesterday where my whole body felt like I was had like electrical shock and every muscle was tensed up and heart heart pulsing really fast and and yeah, pain everywhere and right to my bones and it lasted about an hour but then it, it was a good thing it was upgrades. She's got something in her elbow and something in her left foot too. Yeah, the left foot has got the most problem, but I, I feel the right foot. I'm, it's also starting. Yeah, and my right. Well, besides elbow. those, I mean, I, it's like in the toe. So besides the two, there, there's something in the toe, right it's, shoulder, right elbow. Yeah, I felt like I had three bites on my arm too, my lower right arm. You feel the energy now. Yeah, I'm feeling it in my left foot. We're, we're taking it out. I think Dobin wants to eat it. My dragon's yeah. got a very, very bad stomach. I've also had energy pouring out of my, my left ankle, outer ankle, where my ankle bone is on the outside. I, I feel my heat, my energy in, as heat flowing out of that area. It happened on the right, right foot for a little bit, but it comes and goes on my left foot. Um, a friend told me that it was, I had excess energy that was just leaving that plot through my, out of my body. So I don't know. My head is pulsing right now. How are you feeling, Arta? Mm -hmm. Feeling pretty good. Feeling a little light and could feel energy pulsing around my, my head and my throat base. I, I can't, I can't do anything for the, uh, that, the iffy family. But but I've, put, I've put a wall, i put like a wall against anyone from getting into your, yeah. The neighbor. Ah. The, the crazy neighbor. Yeah. And I've never had any dealings with them, so I don't know. It's just their bad okay, thank you so energies, much. their bad energies creeping in. So. Mm. And was yeah. there anything in my shoulders, my shoulder there? Well, that energy leaking out was more dealing out, I'd say, it's being stolen. Mm. Yeah, it's just a hard little time? late, mm. like a late sort of. <laughs> but, That's how of it. <laughs> Kelly, I actually saw an yes. implant entity. Mm. That's a mm. new thing. So is that it's like they created an entity and had yeah, an well, mm? uh, from what I can gather uh, as we as we expand or evolve, so to do the viruses, parasites, and everything around us. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And so I have noticed uh, in some of the implants and attachments that I have, they are merging. It's almost like emerging like they're combining as one um, I, I, and I, I think they're being created by the dark one i think they're in the lab mixing and splicing yeah so there's a bit harder to remove they've got like a leech attachment but then they also have that implant availability so they have the ability to attach like the leech or the parasite and then they implant implants even though they are an implant themselves so they're like mm. cloning or multiplying if that makes sense um, so yeah. you will find someone will come in and they may have like a small amount of residue. And if, if they're not aware of that residue, then we might have those attachments come in and then feed and grow into that more, like enhance that residue into what we now see as portals that are quite large and that we're having to shut down and, and so forth. So, but yeah, it's all good. Uh, We've got this. Uh, I've, I've created a, a being that eats implant spiritual being that eats implant yeah. and uh, well, he was like a squirrel but he's more like the cartoon character in the film when he speaks what, what like he mm? drag, and that's like her food like yeah. so she just she just eats parasite basically yeah. that's all she eats parasites and so you know my, my dragon does i i, I say i <laughs> think he needs a runner he needs a he'll have an upset stomach what are you he eats gins as well yes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. A gin. Is that a gin? Yeah. The, caution, the, the thing um, I was cautioned with the gins with my dragon too, like because some of those gins, they're not they're not all bad. They're, some of them are all right. So there's some more. Oh, no, the, the, one that, the one he ate was not a good one. Yeah, no, I've come, I've eaten a couple. Don't worry. It's just like all good. <laughs> all you, all you, good. You've eaten them. <laughs> I've never had one. Like they taste really bitter if anyone's wondering. Like, I bet they taste like tin, of it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a Drugs. lovely energy. Mm. I like it. Can you check my um? When you get a chance, if no one's in front of me, can I get someone to just check my in between my wings again? Like I can oh, get oh, to oh. it, but just always have someone check me over. Yeah, if you want to, Scott. Cut. 
Oh, you do want to chat. I was watching you. <laughs> <laughs> take care of your body. And you've got extra blessings of the angels. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Take care of your physical body. Right. Okay, uh, so, so just yeah. uh, one question. So there's um, good hope for my, my, my foot feet healing quickly now? I might be yeah. able to go back on the, back into nature soon. You just yeah. asked, and this was the card yeah. I pulled. So they're in favor of that, definitely. Yes, you're healing. Woohoo! Yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Yes, yes. I so missed my my nature walks and going into the forest. I know. Yeah. Next is uh, Cindy Gormley. She's there. Cindy Gormley. Oh. I'm not sure about that. What are we actually doing? Do? Cindy, Cindy Gormley. Because it's not really an healing or scanning. Well, we'll come back to her when she's back. Radek, you still here? Radek. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. So you had a cold. Still feeling some in your respiratory system? Oh, oops. I was muted. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a scan. Yep. It shows in your chest. Okay. You still feel dripping in your sinus too? Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. So as if you can feel this energy, I've just created an energy ball for you. Like. I'm getting that he's picking up negative energies when he goes out. He uh, does transmuting like I do, and he is not shielding himself in large groups of people, even just going to the grocery store. You need to learn to do your shielding, please. Did you feel <laughs> that energy coming in? I did. did you feel the energy coming in? Warmth. Hmm? I, I feel a sense of, of warmth. Yeah. It's yeah. an energy ball, and it'll heal. It'll do the healing after about two days, three days, at least. Okay. Do you understand what I meant about shielding? I would normally be doing that, um, kind of uh, clearing out at the end of the day. And uh, yeah, I've been taking a break, um, but I should get back into that. Yeah, what's probably yeah. happening? You probably run but, down with the yeah. There's yeah, yeah. There's so many energies that are like heavy right now that are being cleared. And if you're not doing your shielding, so I for a long time I was shielding, 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 and then they were like, oh, you don't need to do that anymore. And then they said, okay, now you need to do it because like there's all kinds of stuff happening right now. And you know, like imagine you're body in the violet flame right it only takes a minute so just like take take yeah. care of yourself that way i think the biggest i think the biggest problem is the yell as well it, it means your aura fields run down when you yell you, your your aura fields mm. tend to be a bit weak <sighs> how's your cold now um <laughs> lessened for sure yeah yeah the healing energy stays with you for the next seven days just drink a lot of water and you guys if you're doing light language use your light language it doesn't have to be just drink healing. Like if you're just hear, hear, hearing it in your mind, just start saying it out loud. Even if you're whispering it, even if you're only thinking it in your mind, just use it. With intentions to heal. Yes, exactly. Heal, protect, and send love. Always add love to that. <laughs> and joy. If you can find your joy and humor and laughter, add that. <laughs> you, know, you know what I once did? This is digressing. I, Sophie was ill and I sent her a light language on her answer phone. And when she oh, answered it, the illness went completely. <laughs> Completely won't. Uh, that's, that's, it goes as quick as that. Do you want two cards? Sure. Um, yes, yes, we have a card if you like. Hey, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. Eventually. There you go. All right. Sounds like the reason why you're ill is you need a retreat, like a break, and you need to do a bit of playfulness. I think that's why you I think you've run down a bit, and that's why you're probably picking up negative energy as well. So take a break from your journey, recoup your energies, and in part of that, have fun. Have a bit of fun. There you go. Thank you. Right, then, um, you you'll, you'll, the healing energy that I did will be with you for the next week. Just drink a lot of water, honey. Okay. Thanks. Uh, there's nothing like, no. like, I don't need to seek, like, how do I say? <laughs> well, you want to manifest something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just want to make sure I didn't like conjure any like uh, can I like, um, take on anything like biologically like I need to like take care of I guess like I'm not I don't have like any no. I didn't I didn't see anything okay all right that's all um thank you you're welcome honey we, we tried to do um oh, Cindy, Cindy she wasn't there so I'm going back here. to Cindy you're here now <laughs> I see you <laughs> couldn't find the button <laughs> uh just a lot of change. I'm in transition uh, from going from an RV to finding a place and uh, just dealing you got, with. You got sick of the RV wife, wife? Really? Yes. 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 So um, are you going um, back I'm, to your 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 home state, or are you you looking somewhere no, else? No, I'm I'm thinking maybe Asheville, North Carolina. I'm close to there. I, I need spiritual connections. I you know there's a lot of tax people here, and uh, they're draining me. Uh, Mary, Mary uh, North Carolina? Uh, Asheville? Asheville? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful there. Okay, yeah. Um, and I really needed to hear about the shielding and clearing. Um, you know, sometimes... I'm you, not you know, sure I was... there's a lot of spiritual people there. There's a lot of... Um, are there, is your whole community there? Yes. Oh, good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are you picking up anything? I could tell you're thinking. 
or is there a location that you're coming up with? And it's like, it's so hard with my RV. Like, um, like you take it to get fixed and they, and they, you know, they do a crummy job and, oh, it's just, it's just a wreck and it's a vicious circle. And I just want off of this. And, you know, if I we get a new one, then, you know, if it's built during COVID, then that's another nightmare. So I'm just going to take a break for a while. Uh, I guess look for an apartment. I'm not sure. Just ground and uh, just kind of have a home again. It was, it was a big change. I think if I, I, I really want balance, I need to be landed somewhere. I can't be jumping around all the time. It's just too much. You know, I lived in a house 33 years and then I did this and uh, it was a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, especially with, get, with prices, the gas prices and. Right. Yeah. And then being, you know, doing this on my own and all that. So. Yeah. 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 I mean, if I had, you know, somebody else with me, it would be different to travel around the States. It, it'd be a lot more fun and have to work. We were going to do that, what you're doing uh-huh. and do healing and then. Nice. Everything happens, so mm-hmm. so I get it. I'm I keep getting a message telling you stick with what you're doing. It's you're not giving it enough time. You're you give you're throwing in the towel too soon. Ar- Archangel Michael's telling me that. I don't know what what you're getting, Phil. Uh, the energy is pretty good though. In my RV, yeah, energy. Well, that's my RV is your body. Oh, thank you. Well, I was feeling pretty. Uh, I don't know. I call it like wonky, you know, like just, you know, highs and low and all that. And once I got on the Zoom, I, I, I my throat was hurting me. And I felt like I was going to get sick. And then once I got on in here, I perked up and felt better. And That's I, I felt right, tired. Eh? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I felt tired and I didn't even like people were asking for energy. I didn't even want to send it in the beginning. I wanted to make sure I felt better or else I, I didn't feel comfortable sending any energy. Yeah, I think this is not the time to make changes. It's just not the time to make changes. Uh, I've had like three readings and everybody's telling me to get out of it. I'm, it's confusing. It's just not the time to, I wouldn't do it now. Okay. I'm, I'm getting, this is Archangel Michael telling me. It's not me telling me. Mm-hmm. Hey, Cindy, um, I yeah. was hearing that they said that people that are giving you readings, they're having false energy energies coming through. They're trying to mislead you. They're trying to mislead you. So stay your course, hon. Okay. I'm not saying anyone's trying to mislead you. I'm just saying that I, I'm only going to tell you what I'm hearing from Archangel Michael. I don't want to say, I don't know who you talk to. I don't want to say that. I, I'm just telling what you. What I, I'm, well, because I have a big class E, what if I would um, get a travel van instead, something smaller, something sleek that I can drive around and I can park it at a parking spot. I can get rid of more clutter and things that are weighing me down what if i got something easier to um trail? That, that's that's fine i mean I, I i just think that um um what he's saying is is making a change in right now in this time uh, you're in a class c yes yeah oh, okay. that's the one with the okay yeah i'm tired of the jaco oh they're, they're they say one thing do another oh it's it's been a mess. I don't think it makes a difference what you're in. I think it's making a change in what you're doing right now. So I don't think it matters what you're in. So if you want to do that, that's fine. Uh, and say stop. Stop. <laughs> Archangel Michael says. <laughs> <laughs> Archangel Michael's with you. Yeah, that's what that one means. And you've got to listen to him. Yeah. Oh, so. boy. Cindy, Cindy. Yeah. He's saying you really know that the, the, the truth of this and go into your heart. Because that, that listening is intuition. What's your intuition, intuition on it? What's your message? You know it? the truth of this. Right. Well, you know, I, I want to do it, but I don't want to be overwhelmed. I want it to be smooth. I want it to be easy. I want it to be fun. I want to have people connections. And I feel kind of trapped in this that I can't bop around to a town because I, that's too big. I can't get to a parking spot. You know, I got a hotel. Okay, well, then it's the answer getting rid of the sea and going to a travel trailer. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> The, the book means you're not ready yet. That's what the book means. Yeah. Okay. But can you picture yourself in one location in a, in an apartment building? Yeah, I know. I thought of that too. Like, oh, you know, I looked at some of them. They're so expensive. Um, yeah. You know, people would have smoked in there and dogs. And, you know, they asked all those questions. I'm like, oh, I don't smoke. I don't have a dog. I mean, I love dogs. But, you know, have you ever been evicted? Like, oh my gosh. You know, I lived in my home, you know, a, a beautiful home for 33 years. What about the papers that in walls and you can't yeah. your neighbors and I'm just thinking the thought of me sitting in an apartment building where I don't know what that, you got cockroaches up because your neighbor doesn't okay. clean you got there they, they come home and they blast their music at, at three o'clock in the morning and that's not really music you like right or, or, you, know or, or, or you might or you might be listening to romance three o'clock in the morning it's romance next, yeah. next doors. <laughs> your headboard your headboard is, it matches their headboard and don't know oh, you okay I really don't want to hear this all night long. 
Yeah. And, and also, I mean, I typed it in the chat, but just to clarify, I'm not saying the people giving you reading were misleading you. I'm saying that the energies affecting the readings were prankster energies trying to mislead you. And that's why Archangel Michael wants you to go in your heart and really check with yourself because you know, that's what they're telling me to tell you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> have fun with that <laughs> thank you guys much love to everyone bye. bye i don't want to take up too much time i know there's somebody else so thank you for yeah. the heal you're welcome the, yeah, the, next, the next one's can't wait by the way i'm sorry we finished it right i have to do it next time <laughs> <laughs> right i go ahead scan away people did you say juliet. you needed healing, healing where you went for Ju uh, juliet was before kelly i think, I don't think so. no oh here kelly can i get a healing right up here rick sorry okay, you can am, I, am i correct you are i, I always am. so right uh right wing uh at the bottom just a little i don't know something again whoa it's black thank you it looks kind of like a scab right. but it's not it's a it's something foreign it's that like your wings are black change size no <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like a coil, like a spring, but it's. What is I just it? something told me that when we removed that spur from that last one, Philip, that hole. I know we filled that hole that we had there, but something tells me maybe there was a small, like a breach there, and and it still there was maybe scar tissue or something. I'm not sure what it is, but I can definitely feel it. Just be niggly, like it's just there, like not enough to make me sick or anything. Thing, but it's just yeah kind of looks like a caterpillar or a worm it's moving I can't reach it. like even when i'm in dragon form i can't reach it with, with that one spot they seem to get to i can't reach it with my tail and i can't reach it with my mouth it's like a bit of a vulnerable spot i wonder if i can just feel can you just like if we once we've got that coil out can we maybe yeah. just like put a shield over it or something i don't know source i don't know what are we gonna do here I, I've, I've actually had that I've had that implant um, removed from several people before so um, I'm just going to go ahead and send you a fish hook just put that fish hook into that implant it's going to grab a hold of it wiggle it out gently remove it and then build in shielding on top of that well you know, uh, what, would you, what, what would you like no 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 so because what happened Phil last time remember we removed a hook it had the barb so I don't want to use a hook again we're not doing that that gets stuck so if someone can okay, think of use a gentle what do you want to use you could use a gentle twine a fabric how do you want a net how do you want to capture it i just want to just if you just if someone can just lift it like pull it maybe like a foot you can, you can lift it that's what i'm saying you can use a net so i'm giving you tools that you any of you guys can do wendy this with wendy family. wendy wendy we oh, can you let us do this please Thank sure you. honey yeah phil you've got it there right there now if you could just like can you if i can get like three people like if i've got four like one either side we can probably lift it high enough that I can just put something underneath it so it can't come back in. Can I get an identity on that? Anyone? Of what well, it is? I'm still, I'm just giving it a, a dragon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I'll try and work it out. It's been eaten by the dragon. I'm trying to rebuild your structure there. I know. I knew you got rid of it. That's why I was just like, can we get an identity on it? I'm holding it up. No, I've got it. Yeah, thanks, Phil. I felt that. That's awesome. It's The thing was created. The entity has been created. So it's not a parasite of sort. It's an entity that's been right. designed. It's not. So it, it'd be quite yes. clever beings that's great. I'm just trying to get a location of the creator. You already know. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got know. it. There's only uh, one area good enough for that, though. Yeah, I'm just trying to, because there'll be, it'll track, I'll be able to track a path and I'll be able to shut down that path. I get what you mean, so they don't, don't come back. Let's yeah, see, I'm, the designers are from Orion, but they've probably got a path based around in Earth, maybe. Yeah, I'm good, I've got it. I can seal that. Can you, can I have some, uh, can I have Michael come in and just seal as well? I'm just going to have him seal. He's there. Thank you. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. Can I get a respiratory check on the vessel, so Kelly vessel? So please. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can i get a respiratory check please yes thank you sending some energy there thank you there's a dense uh shift that came through so it tends to lower the c the the o2 so we just sometimes the vessel struggles you should feel and some I'll creator energy along with the emerald yeah can you push it or can you take a deep breath okay the repair is done thank you mm -hmm. can i get a portal just a scan for any portals existing in a say like just do a 500k area should be all right if everyone can just do a just a feel 
around. I think we're pretty good. But... 500k, 500,000 miles. <laughs> it's all it's good. Be, we're going to be all right. <laughs> just scanning. Um, no, I just, I felt a small, what could have been a negative energetic um, to the I o- north. I already knew you'd spotted on that. <laughs> Yeah, so North I, I, I got the message. I got the message. You spotted something. Well, thank you. For the ones that didn't hear me telepathically. <laughs> no, I think Northeast, about, I'd say about 120K feels about, I'm just it feels like it's just a small negative. I don't know what it is. I can just feel it. Northeast? Mm, about 120 clicks from me. Yeah. Do you got that? Yeah. Yeah. It's also got a subnet below. So there's two in there. You, I don't know. Can you feel that other one? It's about probably another 20 or 30 Ks away. There's two there. I feel them. Uh, oh, yeah. So there's like two girls, two feminines in there, two young feminine seeds. They're there. So there's, yeah. Can we remove, can we sort that, please? I want, can I have guides to there? And can I have like another lot of like ground crew? They're, they're going like desert. This is like the desert. So it's in like somewhere. These are like uh, Aboriginal girls girls young aboriginal girls that i can feel another this there's another that it's another um just like we, we just took care of here in Arizona, there's another sacrificial yeah. uh, just, underground underground bunker with um. Uh, can maybe. someone? Call, I need someone in there like soon, like now. Now, now. yeah, like now. There's more than two. There's, there's more than two. And I'm gonna just I I want Ariel and Azrael as well now, like now. Uh, Ariel, sir. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I already I brought her. I need someone for the emotion. Can I have someone just there for just to release? And and just cover for a minute, please. I need like a healer in for the youngest of the two girls at the moment. There's also a mother figure. Uh, I, I think it's a sister, but they're a mother. They've acted like a mother. Can uh, there's yeah, there's mm-hmm. one of the two is pregnant with a boy child. It, it, this is because of this. This is like horrible. I'm gonna call the sisters as well. Can I have? I would like all sisters present now, please, in this moment. Cover and hold. Can anyone give me a reading on that? The youngest of the two of the siblings. I can't read. I'm blocked for whatever reason. I can read the one that's pregnant, but not the younger, the two. Well, thank you. Yeah. Mashayaki. Yawate. Mashayaki. Riata e matae te se. Hey, ana nai ke wa war un montai te ke sha e mat ilat pa wa su urun ta ka e te. Ki a ho hi ana nai te ha ta ko un tu u ti he ka de gruia. Ich kria na ra ta. Several dragon clans stepping up. Most of that's done now. Yeah, all good. I've got a clear. Everyone got a clear? Yeah, there was a there was a demonic that got eaten. Not pleasant. That was it. Guys. Is everyone nice and full? <laughs> exactly. Do, do, do you know my being that I created? But it's a chipmunk, and he speaks like he talks like chipmunk. Said, "Why didn't I? T- why didn't he take it out of your back? He wanted to eat that. I forgot about him. I'm giving. He's giving me hell." <laughs> <laughs> That's what I created him for. I designed him, created him, implants, entities, and negative energies. Mm-hmm. And I forgot. I forgot about him. Um, I was told that uh, we would cover the seven and the seven. So, as far as I know, uh, with the push with the nine nine that we had come in, um, that any residuals that were left over would be identified. Uh, we've done t- two two places of that today. Um, thus far, everyone's going really well. By the way, like energy wise, everyone feels amazing amazing which is really cool um yeah i think just like we're just going to cruise in and just see how that settles with those two um and yeah like obviously there are those other five areas that have been uh like we, we know they're there um there'll be hopefully with this shift we won't have to continually be doing this you know we won't have to come back and and do it so if we can like i said when we're shutting those pathways or avenues that those individuals are using those entities are using um be really specific when you're doing that so making sure that every single portal that they have used is shut down um they're not portals of light they definitely are not beneficial for humanity so when you do identify one no matter what it may be because there are varying as we know and there are hybrids that are coming into play as they evolve so with these portals that they're using if you can make sure that you use uh, predominantly uh archangel michael ha- uses a flame to steal that that wormhole well, do you know what i do i yeah. throw white light into it yeah. then I'll see you later <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, so you do the same as me. Yeah. So I thought of the same. I, I put yeah. a big aquiline, yeah. if you will, uh, behind that that wormhole and then I just sort of collapse it upon itself, um, which yeah, is the, really... The, the, yeah, probably you can't you seal it, it's still there. So you throw the white light to blow it from that way and then seal it as well. So it, you can't get there if you get what I mean. Yeah, well, they, they, they can't run beyond the aquiline <laughs> sun. They, it's too much for them. Um, and so when I put that as a layer, like yeah. a, a film, mm. if you before I imploded on itself, then it seems to work pretty well. I haven't had any yeah. come back. <laughs> 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 I, I, I actually flew into one that was connected to an implant factory in the 4D and I got attacked by loads of black dragons. These weren't that nice ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they, they were and, waiting you know for me. The other end. Debbie, mm-hmm. yeah. do you know what? You know what's interesting is so, I mean, we all have our different roles. Oh. We're all like, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I'm, I'm no, go ahead, nothing. Oh, I was going to say, we all, we all have our roles to play. And so for me, I know that I work a lot with the physical body. So I do, I apologize for overstepping while you guys were trying to do work, but I. I do want because not everybody can see astral and not everybody can do what they're doing but they can protect their own bodies and trust that they have the ability within themselves so I do feel passionate about that so um, I just wanted you guys to know that you can call in the violet flame and the green ray and you know these different rainbow colors into your own being and you can do that work yourself and you can create and remove you know if you didn't want to use a hook to remove an implant and you can create your own net and say I'm giving this to Archangel Michael and Archangel Michael please take this from me and then put your own shielding and create it the way you want to and use your words your words are power you have that god spark within you so um so it's important i think for you guys to know that and trust yourself that you have the ability to you know to do your own Mm -hmm. self-healing but yeah we do have we do need help at times i mean i've reached out too so (laughs) thanks wendy of course it's very true okay are we moving on now yeah uh do you want to do i don't know you can pull a card if you want to but otherwise we're good yeah stay stop then quick i'm all good uh, good is stop. Okay. Truth and integrity. I can't say that word. That yeah, basically means that you've integrity. got to say the word stop and not I'm all good. I just do it telepathically. You know I do, Phil. Like, come on. I'm sorry. I've got to use my word. <laughs> I'm joking. If you ever make re- mistakes, remember to record them. <laughs> and you make loads of mistakes. I make them. Yeah, I'm, I'm male, that's why. I'm always a teacher student. I love this. You know, like, yeah. it's good. Yeah. All right. Hello, Julia. Is it Jackie next? Yeah, yeah. Jackie, go Jackie, please. Please, because I'm going to have to go. I mean, yeah, um, please. A lot. Yeah. Um, my question is, do you have a message for me, Deb? You know my family situation. I think my sister is stirring the pot and throwing a lot of negative energy my way, sabotaging. And I confirm, not confirm. I'm ready, about ready to walk away, cut the negative energy and make a clean break of it and be done with it. Ooh. Yeah. Was that what's it? Yeah. What does that say? It's spiritual strength. She's right. She her intuition is correct. So she, she is, is sabotaging me. Um, I I just what does Archangel Michael say or Ar- Archangel Michael is saying? It's really hey, hard. Clarity on all of that. Uh, can what I have like Deb? Deb, what did you say? I'm sorry, I missed it. What did you say, Deb? Archangel, Archangel Michael is saying you know the truth. So I am correct, uh, and she's been got, doing this I for years. That. Correct. I got that. Trust. Trust. Yeah. Trust. Trust so she's been doing this for years and years and years and sabotaging me. Again and turning the family against so because there's have, like it's oh. like a wall has gone up but this is like going on for years and I just want to make before I break this relationship and walk away I want to know that this is doing and yeah, so that, Deb, Deb Rick Philip what do y'all say well, that trust I'll, that trust card means you might have my intuition. Hold, hold on to your beliefs let the past go with the lessons you've learned basically so, saying okay. saying it and, and and Archangel Michael is also saying that you cannot control how other people see or believe you no, can only can, you can only control how you see or believe but I see what she has done I can observe that and it's yes. it very easy to see so it's time to walk away yeah and yes yes and, and, and then I have a it, second question too yes. but if, it's, if it's toxic for you it is toxic love it toxic. love it love her and let her go and just you know send her love and light and leave it alone let's just walk away okay. I mean it's okay that you know you, you don't need to yeah. continue to to be abused and, no I agree and I agree. think to give yourself putting up with it yeah okay. yes yeah okay Deb Redfield yeah I've got it yeah, yeah so I did four cards Debbie, for you Deb I have another one too um there is yeah. a lump that I we've talked about this before but there was a lump in my breast the left breast and I just wanted to do a check on it please you can do a cellular reduction it's a cyst just a cyst yeah. just to let it be ignore it yeah she can just send a little bit of cellular reduction if you just ask to reduce the cells that'll 
like ease it, but it, it's not anything bad. Okay, okay. Good. Oi, those cards, your questions. So the first one, you got your spiritual strength card. We all know your intuition is really strong. Your second one, this is going to hurt a little bit. Like the cutting is going to hurt a little bit, sweetie. So just be aware that that that, that is going to be there and be ready to release that trauma, that pain. They are the guides, your spirit, your source is in favor of this, this decision. Um, and you are a brave and skilled warrior. You know this. So dig deep in your heart. You know what's right. Trust your intuition. Be strong. Lean out. Reach out if you need to, but really lean into this feeling and, and get it done. Yeah, I know it. I've, I've known it through for years and years and years, and I put up with it. I just put up with it yeah. and did it because it was family and it was family. Enough time. So time. Because yeah. there is a time now for things to fall away that do not serve us, and that does not serve me. We are right in that 72 hour window to, to let that go. Okay. I will do that. And can I have card, please? I, I, I just picked a card three what did you times. Pick, sweetie? Three I can't see times. It. Three times. It says three what? Times. What is three that times it says that? Because I couldn't I read it. I picked it up three times. Oh, you picked it up three times. Picked it. Just do it again. Picked it uh, a third oh, time. Fine. And all the cards are different, by the way. And what that basically means is if you keep on making the same mistake, be willing to release and let the miracles come forth. It so, would take a miracle. It would honestly take a miracle. Yeah. What it's saying is if you keep on making the same mistake. Uh, yes. Allowing her to stay in your in your in life. My, in my yeah. realm. In my one, once you deal with it, then the miracles will Oh. Got it. Well, that's great. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. I can deal Self-love. with it. I can do it. Self love. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Daphne. You're welcome. Big hard hug, Sunny. Thank you. Okay, Yang. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. Thanks You're for welcome. hanging in there and waiting for us. I've got one of those. I love you. I love you all too. I love you so much. Hey, what what time is it there? Oh, uh, time here nine thirty three. I go to bed at seven thirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's free, free, free. Not bad. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> 333 AM. Yeah. Okay, gang. Thank y'all so much. And I love you. Oh, all. do you want do you want young cards? I pick your oh, card my own. I thought your card was okay, but yeah, give me a card. Yeah, okay. Are you shuffling? Yeah. Stop. Your prayers are answered. There you go. Your prayers are answered. Prayers. Yay. I wonder what that means. Some of them are quite easy. Uh, okay, let me mute. And I will mute. Is it Paul or that? Then? Who? Yeah. What'd you say? There's a long message from Wendy, so I'm trying to read it. <laughs> Hard to say. I was having multiple conversations. Sorry. By the way, Wendy, if you're using Saint Germain, here's my aspect. You remember commission? Yep. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> hey, your dragon. Your blah. I can't even say it. Your dragon works with me too, bud. <laughs> That's double double commission. <laughs> He's quite a fierce thing. Which one? It'd be dome and one. It wouldn't be the hey, uh, rainbow uh, dragon. So, are you asking us to do something for your grandson? Um, so, so my baby, the youngest of the two. So, I was no, I was just talking about how I taught him about the using the green ray, Archangel uh-huh. Raphael's green ray, uh-huh. and he's got extreme eczema. Yeah. Um, and he, the last time I saw him a month ago, we were really working with a green um, ray with Archangel Raphael, and mm-hmm. his back inside his um, elbows, his hands were raw, almost bleeding behind his knees. And today I saw him. Um, well, I should say we came yesterday but today i looked at his skin he's barely got any marks on him anywhere with eczema um and then today <laughs> my husband got cut and he came over and helped he gave him the green ray he said here papa i'm gonna help heal you and he brought the green ray over he's four and a half so um yeah so i was just talking about that i can't remember what the conversation was at the time but really for i was just asking to maybe check property here i've um, helped them do some clearing um and because the baby i don't know if he's just teething Ugh, better um they've had <laughs> Anyway, so I think that they could probably use some additional support for that. I, I get what you mean. Yeah. Uh, right. I'm, I'm going to try and gun you, gun them. Okay. It's a bit different. Your energy yes. will be attacked to them and link them. So yes. I'll try and do it that way. Is that your and property? Been... Is that your property? Or... I'm my daughter's. Are there now? Yeah, I'm here now. Actually, I'm property. I'm, like, I'm just thinking the boys so that you can make a better connection. Oh, I can put the little one for my background. There's the baby. <sighs> Are you outside Chicago? Yeah, I'm in Indiana. You're in Indiana now? Yes. Do you live in Illinois? Yes. Yeah, I'm about 20 miles outside of Chicago, but I'm also often in uh, Wisconsin. Oh. Well, I've done it, uh, Wendy. Yeah. Do you know what you were talking about five minutes ago? In the UK, the band under, well, been banned. You don't read that on the yes. news, but it, it has. No. That was uh, this week. Wow. Even in The Guardian, that just shows you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, but I would love a card. You know me. I just, I'm, I'm a sucker for those cards. <laughs> oh, this card says that you're not as good a healer as me. Amazing, all these cards. Here. <laughs>
<laughs> well, my, my, my site is coming on board and seeing ROs has started to happen. So that's pretty interesting. Um, intuitive but, healing. I'm starting to see like inside people's bodies on occasion. So it's all interesting, but a little bit as, but, at a time. And then say stop. <laughs> yep, 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 stop now. Yeah, I, I've merged with Hermes a lot. Like tonight, I went on a journey to a place, and we, when we killed the demons, everything, Hermes is massive. It's just a blitz rate, everything. Wow. I don't know. New love and dreams. <laughs> 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 yeah, dreams. You're being sent messages in your dreams. Keep yeah, a pen yeah. ne- keep a pen next to you so you remember all of them. Uh, I, new love. Open your heart to divine love. I'm probably a new friend. So open I, uh, your heart for divine love. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I actually keep a dream journal. I've done that since I was a teenager. So mm. but I have noticed that more recently the message and clarity that comes through with them is incredible these days. Like the last three months, it's really gotten to be, yeah. It's clear. It's very clear. You get the dream and the message comes right behind it and on waking. So, but thank you. I love that. <laughs> I love the synchronicity of it. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, I, I know it's just diverse. I would only be a second, but I, I was getting a pat first time for a long time while I was doing warrior work in Astra. So I came back and I was just about to send to my body and Dome and my dragon said, yeah, you set up as a warrior. It's there. Why go in your body? Ah, <laughs> he's smothering me. He's smothering me on the cover. I, I disposed of it. Yeah, so. yeah I Attacking about four years. Yeah, I had, I had, I had two of them um, about two months ago, a couple of weeks apart, and I caught both of them. And of course, <laughs> um, let's just say the first time I called in some help, and the second time I, I managed it. It was like bye bye, uh, bye bye. <laughs> so I mean. We, you know, we do what we have to do, but yeah, I mean, a lot of it is just trusting your own abilities, but it's, there's a journey to get there and there's always mm. healing that we're going through. And that's why we're all doing this work is to heal and, yeah. and help others and support others. So yeah. Thank you guys. You're I welcome. Honor you. You're welcome. Thank you. But is it Paula? Okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi, Paula. Yep. Yeah. Hello, this is my first time and the energies are just absolutely amazing. I'm just so honored to be with all of you. Um, well, just recently had a situation back in July and it was a spiritual attack. I think I got through it and got some help uh, last week as far as final removal of it. I'm just looking for some confirmation on that. What was the attack like? Was it like when you were asleep or? Yes, I was sleeping and it woke me up. I wasn't sure what was going on. I just laid there for a moment, wide awake. And I'm like, okay. Is this just a dream? And something was pulling on my left arm and like jerking my shoulder. Um, I had a, a sister visiting here for a few weeks that I hadn't seen in like five years. She's over on the West Coast. Now I'm on the East Coast here in Connecticut with my mother. And we had just had a visitor, uh, a family member, a cousin that night um, that came over to visit. So I've been having a hard time putting some of these pieces um, together as far as the understanding of it. But yeah, is it linked some of it starts coming through and I'm hearing other experience. I'd be thinking is it linked to the people in front of your family members? That's obvious, isn't it? If you've never been attacked really and then someone visits you and then you get attacked, I'm like might be a link. Can you can you turn your the light on so I can I really hate it when it's dark around people and I can't really see things. There we go. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah, thank you. Well, there was a lot of fear caused by it. Um I knew something was was wrong. Some my mother even knew right away that there was something wrong. That's why we do it. I got through all of it. Yeah. Oh, like if you didn't have fear, you wouldn't do it again. Yeah. It's the fear energy that they have. To, but you probably knew that. That's why I got through it. Mm-hmm. Are Are you in your? There's um negative energies. I'm feeling it. Do you feel negative energies? Do you feel energies? Do you? I'm sorry. You're asking me. Yes, you. Yeah. Do you feel energies? You would know if you did. So not negative it's, energies. It's, do you feel any energies? Do you feel or see energies? I do feel them sometimes. Do you see orbs or anything like that? You know, orbs. Sometimes on occasion, that light. Do you feel a heaviness in your chest? Like when you walk into a room, and all of a sudden you sometimes you feel a heaviness in your chest? Like Yes, sometimes. Yeah, that's a negative energy. That's when you know there's a negative energy. It's something just removed from you out, by the way. You did have some out in that. Yeah, very, quite, quite low vibration. The energy in the house might feel different. Though. Are you sitting in a closet? It looks like you're sitting in a closet. Yeah. Huh? I got shelves behind me with all kinds of things. I would be in the other room where I do a lot of my meditations. It's just a little noisy over there right now. Okay. So yeah, um, <laughs> ignore that. That was just a nightlight I had on before, but no, that's okay. I don't. It doesn't bother me. I just want because do you have a a, a large closet in your bedroom? Yes. Because there's a portal in that closet. Yeah, the being that Doman got that, it was running to a bedroom. I think, I think. Yeah, well, that's where the portal is.
And you feel the energy, Paula, by the way, trying to get yes, rid of I, any I of the fear. Yeah. You should feel a lot better now. Just put energy through you. I'm feeling lighter. Thank you. Portal closing. Yeah. Uh. And we've sent some, sent some energy for it. Oh, Doman's done. Doman's me dragging, by the way. God, you know, that seems uh, yeah. way gone by. I'm talking about over life. Yeah. So your house is going to feel a lot different now. You should have, shouldn't have any more dreams or anything like that. And um, you've got an energy that um, that we put through your body to just heal any um, any negativity. So the house is clean. You, no more portal. And oh, no, more, no, more cre- no more creatures running through the house. <laughs> It was, like a, it was like a it was like a well like a demonic minion, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Can't run fast wow. enough. This is the house that I grew up in. <laughs> so it used it to be my be, parents' bedroom. My yeah, it might, it might be connected to the people who visit in you. You can remember. Yeah. They could have something on and they could have created the portal quite easily. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can create portals in Spirit and Astra. Tell us to stop and I'll give you two cards. Stop. To get balance in your life, you need to play some music, frequency music. I do. I'd say meditation music. I know you said you do. You do that, but I'd, I'd probably look at the new music you need and the balance. If, if you're if you're busy, you can always ask for help. Yeah, music. So look at the vibration of the meditation that you need. Like uh, you got fear. Yeah? It's like arch. I mean, like a five hundred music meditation. Five hundred. Five hundred. If you got headaches, then you can like nine nine bit of amethyst with it so all these are just tools that you can help you on your way okay thank you so much you're well much love to you all thank you. eight minutes to four in the morning <laughs> did well didn't i is there anyone else? Everyone else is sleeping. Does anyone need healing? Healing? Goals? No, scan. it's uh, Susan. I just would love you to just scan to make sure everything's clear. Okay, so I just show us. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You gotta show your face. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta show yourself. Yeah. I'll send you a bit of healing anyway. What then? Yes. Oops. Where are you? Up here. <laughs> You just see your eyes, Susan. Okay. There we go. You have a, a now and again, have a little pain in your back. I'll just remove some negative pain out of your back. Yeah? Yes. Thank you. Are you having dreams? Yes. Are they nightmares? Are they like nightmares? Sometimes. Sorry. I don't know. I have to go to a different page to turn on my volume. Sometimes and sometimes not. The last two weeks has been time travel dreams. Not quite dreams, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Archangel Michael is asking that you write, if you can possibly put a pad of, and a pad of paper and something to write with, with it. And when you wake up, try and write down what you remember. These are really important messages for you in your dreams. Go Do, ahead you come, ahead. Do you ever come back with scratches and bruises? No, not no, not very often. Not very often. Mm, oh, I don't recall any. <laughs> not, <laughs> I don't very, recall any. not very often. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't recall. I don't recall yeah. any. But the back part of my back is always out. So I appreciate you taking that off. I just feel like there's has been something at that upper part of the back, right at the base of the neck, that seems to be there all the time, and I'm not sure what it is. But it almost feels like a contraption, and I just don't feel comfortable with it but i i don't know how to remove it there's something there I, I, mm-hmm. well it should be eased up because i've took a lot of the negativity it, it of does it. by the way I, it yeah, does thank yeah. you because it i i basically just drag all the negative energy out of people and then put them in myself and i can feel the pain so then you haven't got it but obviously if someone's creating it we haven't quite sorted it out either. There's some no. There's something. There was something there. They removed it before we scanned her. Mm. There's somebody mm. there. There's somebody in 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 her house. So there there. There's somebody there. They actually removed the implant before we got before we scanned her. So there's an implant that they're putting in her. So when you're dreaming, that's what Archangel Michael's like. They're okay. But I knew there was something in her. But I'm like, okay, I can't see it. He's like, oh, there's somebody. Keep keep scanning. Keep scanning. He's telling me, keep scanning. There's somebody. That would in make there. that would make sense because I keep putting. Um, my thoughts are with the divine, but then something keeps coming in and interrupting and, and interrupting. And then I, you know, then I re- rejected, delete it. And then yeah. everything's fine and back lined. I'm seeing myself and everyone is love and light. And yeah. then, sorry, it's. Yeah, there's somebody there and he's trying to hide, but he's not. He can't. Well, there's somebody, there's something there, and but they removed it. And then he, he, he well, tried to hide from me. Yeah, I think it's someone to try and put you up. Yes, stop de- definitely. Stop 
And that's why your neck hurts because that's where they put the implant. Yeah. It gets so bad. Sometimes I can throw up because the yeah. it goes into a migraine. Yep. Yeah. But, and it hurts because they keep putting it in and then taking it out so that nobody can see it. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. And, it, it's, and I don't and it even know messes why. You up, it messes you up worse than leaving it in. So your body yeah, gets used to it. I don't know why uh, something outside of me has access to me. I don't not give them permission. I Mm-hmm. Well, Constantly. none of us do, but it's the end game here. It's the end yeah. game. Okay. Just Prior, when, I was a, when I was a young girl, um, they definitely would attack me. And if there's dark energy and other people, I definitely get attacked from them, like mm-hmm. with just the painting on me. I'm not really sure why. Yeah. You just gotta be a bit strong. Uh, I, I was attacked with demons since at the age of nine. Huh? Yeah, they they've definitely. When I was younger, they would tell me to kill myself. But then when I realized it must be sorry, yeah, they, go ahead they, and cry that release, yeah. and then put love back in its spot. Release, it, release, it, release, it, release it. You would say you're dark, and I was like, this doesn't make any sense. So then I would look at my family, and they had light all around them. So then I would like say there must be light in me that you don't like. That must be purposeful. So then when once I started owning that piece of it, then then they stopped attacking me as much in my mind to kill myself because it wasn't working any longer. But all you have to do is just stay in your power. Yeah, I'll go into a room and whatever's dark and other people, it's like it just comes from me. Sorry. Think of, think of it like this. If they're doing that, that means you've got a very important spiritual job. You probably do a lot of work in Astra. That's why you're starting to now, they're now giving you a piece of the jigsaw of what you're doing in Astra. Correct. Yeah. Right. I just, I didn't realize it hit me such a, I haven't cried over it in a long time. I guess I'm just releasing really it. Yeah, need to. Thank you. And if you get attacked, the great way is manifest an alarm system in the back of your neck. So if you be in a, if, if there's a negative energy nearby, it wakes you up. That's, that's how I created it when I was a young kid. Because I used to get attacked with demons near enough one twice a week. And by the time I was 16, I was going about <laughs> yeah, yeah, the last, four or five years. Yeah. The, the last attack I had, they actually had grabbed me by the rib. And physically, I could feel them. It was almost like, you know, how when you were a kid and you would get tickled and it got tickled too much and then it began to hurt it was like yeah. that and it woke me up and that was that was the mm-hmm. second time that I had had that instant the last the time before that they were holding me down I was pinned and I couldn't move but I could physically feel them with the pressure on top of me the the idea is, is so that you know that these energies do exist but you have control over them and being able to call on Archangel Michael to assist you or you know whoever you feel safe with whether the dragons or whatever but also like you're releasing all of that like that energy within you you I, I mean I know Phil can tell you what you're doing in the astral, <laughs> but you are you are a powerhouse, and all you have to say what is, you, "I am." What you can do, you can ground it. If you uh, if you have the consciousness of the dream and you know you're dreaming, but it's not dreaming, you can actually force that energy into a lower dimension. Okay. You've got the power there to do that. No fear, just stay in love and light. Ground it to the. I, I've I've actually sent one, and I didn't quite ground it. I just told them to go and f off afterwards. Don't come back. <laughs> But I was drowning <laughs> it and he was screaming because I'd done a clearance in and out. And I, but I didn't. I said to the spirit, look, don't affect the people who own it. You can stay in your dimension. They say, and in the end, he thought he'd go for me. And as soon as my alarm bell started ringing, I thought, he's going, he's attacking me. Thought, okay, then I'll let him in. Now, it's dangerous. But I'll let him in. As I let him in, I got pulled in, pulled him to the ground. And he didn't know where he, 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 would, he wouldn't do that again. So <laughs> you've just got to be in, within your power, stay in your power. Love and light always win. And and uh, don't go to their vibration trick. Thank you for that. I, I do have it. Let them have it, Susan. Just, I'm sorry. Just let them have it. Whatever this entity or whatever it is, just say you're not welcome here. And really, and with intent. I, I will tell you, I promise you, I do it on such a constant level. Like yeah. when I'm even with you guys on, on this call, by the way, it's, it's such a pleasure to be in everyone's presence. I just want to honor each and every for all that you do. You. Um, So beautiful. When I was here, my focus, it, because I, my focus is I am love and I am light and I am this on all levels of existence. We all are. And it's just a distortion, right? Of the parts that have forgotten themselves as love. I get that. And, but then it, I mean, if I can tell you at least four times in one hour, I'm constantly recalibrating. Like, I, I don't know if that's necessarily normal. Like, I don't know. I, I get a lot of that too. 
and what's happening, I mean, recently, over this last two years, the energies have been so high and the energies have been recalibrating because we're clearing, clearing, clearing. And again, like Deb was saying, it's it's the end game. And because everything is like coming up right now, um, the downloads are, uh, there's days where it's all day long. I'm sitting in what I would call the quantum because that energy field is around me and I can feel it. I really feel energy. And so um, even like with you releasing it, like I can just like my whole body is like on fire. Like I feel the heat of it. I feel it in the back of my neck and in the top of my head. And earlier, um, I can't remember who was, had the something going on. Oh, with the closet. Um, I was feeling the energy in my head. And so I was like, oh my God, this is crazy times right now. <laughs> but you know what? Make sure that because when you release, that gives you the ability to hit your neck frequency up. So you're going to be getting like more stuff now because that you just let go of more garbage. So good for you. Congratulations. You're doing amazing. Yeah. And it's okay to cry, huh? <laughs> You know, Thank you. I, I know it's it's through a heavy I, purge and then I had upgrades. Thank you. I didn't realize I was going to cry. So I appreciate you giving me the space <laughs> to just go that to that place of vulnerability. It's like, uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you for letting me be seen. Yeah. And also thanks for coming on because sharing your problems is releasing as well. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You never we're, all, we're all on the same team. And you're so loved. Mm. Thank you. We're all here for the same thing. Yeah. Right.